It's been hit. Okay, cool. We're going. Sorry, as always. Wow, we. Sorry, I just looked at the the real life clock and we faffed around for a little bit there. Um, hi, welcome back to the Singularity War. I was Hello. stunned by the concept of linear time. And hopefully my voice is doing okay because Discord is like blinking red occasionally. But the recording is going fine for now, so let's keep on keeping on. Before I forget, I would like to remind everybody this episode brought to you by our patrons, like Adam Herbo, Sergey, Call Me Zed, Carlos, Dragon, Flight, Cypher, Jeremy Vasquez, JD Van Athens, Justify, Charlie, Legendary Boston, Lou Caster, Reach Raptor, Rise of Kenji, Rogue Robin, Trevor, Shumpire, some guy named Bob and Varian the Crow. If you like we do want to you are consider supporting on Patreon. Get access to us as well. It helps us out. Thank you. Sorry, it took me a, lo a little longer to wind up that breath because uh, I'm still allergified. All right, last time you guys killed a man. You made him the die. But strangely managed to not obliterate the uh, Russian bodyguards with him. Nor did you burn down the hospital. Good job. Thumbs up. Yes, but I did put the fear of God into them. I don't know you about put the that. fear of grenades into them, actually. Yeah. That's true. The fear uh, of boom. Having a great... A great... Sure. Oh, no. <laughs> but uh, you guys have all been paid. I don't know if you guys have any... You know... Oops, sorry, actually, I should realize that's something in my... Oh, I, I did actually have another question. Long term. Yeah. Uh, can so if I install a daemon into a drone, would the drone be able to benefit for the skill from the skill benefits? Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. that's kind of what merging the code base is supposed to be. Is you stick them both, but if you put like a rider in the drone and then install the daemon on that, they could basically collab for skill assistance and stuff as well. Gotcha. Yeah, I gotta look into diamonds. Anyway. anyway. Yeah, diamonds are cool, and also some are expensive. Yeah, they are. As I keep coming up with more money sinks. Sad sadly, I suspect some of you will run out of things to keep spending money on. <laughs> Lies. I, I can't. There's only so much I can do. Anyway. Uh you guys did get paid. And Ooh. I don't remember if you spent all of it already or not i have so, not because i got like 5k and i'm like that's a lot of money for me to be just to just be holding on to yeah i was about to I say was, as usual yeah. i suspect that some of you may have some uh some budgetary meetings to be had some purchasing to be done uh in general just to you know let everybody know what i got in mind for this session uh while they're percolating in my brain we have not done a new round of uh gigs yet not a new round of jobs because I know that there were a few other things you guys have been keeping track of to get back to. Uh, primarily, I ended last week, to remind everybody, with the slight cliffhanger that uh, as, you know, Wolf was want to check in with that one uh, dark verse web where those... Yeah, what the... Hold on. What, how did I phrase their ideology earlier? I forget. They wanted to return to Japan. Yeah, Japanese yeah, they're, uh they're fucking Japanese keyboard warriors. I'm telling you that right fucking now. Yeah, basically, they're, they're, they're uh, radically uh, individualist, nationalist, uh, definitely also revanchist uh, Japanese people. They are uh, anti anti refugee integration, pro the return to Japan, uh, pro making everyone else pay for it. Yes, no, definitely <laughs> on that part. Uh, like I said, very. Very uh, reactionary, violent, and probably short-sighted, but very passionate. Um, anyway, browsing that Darkverse forum, uh, basically there appeared to break out a little bit of an argument between a couple of the, the major users there. Uh, between Kaze, the guy you fought before. Mm -hmm. oh, I may need to, at some point I may need to update his stat block so he's actually still dangerous. Or his not, name is still, I'm under, in, uh, in my documents, his name is still Ninja Motherfucker. Uh, but he got into it with uh, another one going with the alias Kasai, and uh, Kasai uh, straight up said that, like, I've heard about these Onigashima guys, and that they've been, you know, uh, repping our Japanese culture, 
without necessarily being Japanese. So I shall uh, attack their stronghold, the Swallowtail Inn. Aha! Uh, which one I right, well, he immediately opened his uh, DM window. And, and uh, you know, he, he, he uh, clip, clip that Twitch clip, <laughs> sent that to Claymore. <laughs> Got his clipping tool. Uh, so that's mm. kind of where we left plot wise. So obviously, you're going to want to uh, probably uh, think about that one. Well, before that, could, could Wolf like maybe get any more information like in that room? Like, uh, yeah, he's a, he's in the domain. If he wants to do any more more work on that, like I said, it was it was a cliffhanger last time. So yeah. if there's any any point of investigating we want to do, we're we're open ended. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to to mention, like I said, is we're not ready to cook on jobs yet. But you do still have two bounties open. Woo, bounties! Stark Wilson, uh, fifty five hundred. Marcus Carlson, Marcus Carlson. Uh, 15,000. Uh, and, uh, thankfully, I try not to throw anything away before I use it. Uh, there has been scuttlebutt among the group of remembering that thing that Claymore said about punching the rustlers. <laughs> uh, um, you guys still haven't actually researched that or rolled any balls on that. So, well, I'm, I gotta, I gotta roll some balls on that. We have an investigation mission, a base defense mission, and two bounties. Something like that. Hmm. But yes, uh, since we did leave off with with Wolf in the domain, uh, if there's anything else you wanna you wanna ask about or investigate these guys before passing your intel on to the team, mm. particularly Glamour. It's like you can like there have it is a public motion. You could just be all like, whoa, 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 so those unengaged motherfuckers are scary. How are you gonna? How are you gonna do this? Kind of thing. I will, uh, since I'm like anonymous in the uh, audience, I will uh, post a message saying, "All right, whoa, are you, I mean, are you sure? I, I hear that they are led by a demon. A demon. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you so much for this this pitch. Uh, you know, Kasai, you know, wheels to the group and is like, ha, demon. That's all just make believe." <laughs> and branding. Okay? I mean, uh, you're I'm wrong. <laughs> I've, you know, half half. I've I've heard the rumors. Kaze himself uh supposedly met the demon at now oh, shit, I forgot which the name of the shrine was, but mm -hmm. at the shrine in Little Rajama. That's uh so been shuffled around in my notes, but he would remember the name. He's still here. Admittedly, he had to break it off because he wasn't prepared for such a fight. Because it kind of like <laughs> wasn't it? Then what? I'm like, forgive me. Wasn't Claymore the only person to hit uh, Kaze? Technically, uh, yeah, I think you did. Actually, also, hit him, hit I'm trying to remember. I I think Wolf got Wolf tried to get some. Oh, shots, no, no, but Sam, I don't know if he could defeat. That defense. was that was the that was the Yakuza dude. Yeah, no, because I remember. Like I only had a chance because Claymore Wolf. definitely uh, <laughs> felt the sting of uh, sting of Kaze's blade. I'm not sure. That him. was your, your it's first because it, it went the way it did because Wolf is too. Wolf would never shed blood in the temple. So because the guy was a fucking dirty bastard that would exploit that. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I think I got stabbed more than Wolf did because I grabbed the hostage and ran. You got hit yeah, with the, believe... the knife. I believe inside the shrine, I was only attacking him unarmed. I think I only attacked him one time and yeah. missed when he was outside. So, mm -hmm. and then he jumped away. Yeah, because he has a stranger's uh, tendons installed. Big jumpies. Big jumps. Uh, but yeah, so like, it's all just smoke and mirrors, just like it was in the war. It's cyberware, performance enhancing drugs, and a lot of intimidation. But if you think I, Kasai, student of, you know, many of our fine well, arts, am intimidated by eight, some uh... random guy in street thugs. Well, I shouldn't say he's random. He's a very specific man with street thugs. But he is a man nonetheless, as we are all men. And my burning spirit is dedicated. Uh, I, don't, I don't have a whole, you know, <laughs> lone wolf speech prepared. But absolutely, <laughs> uh, Kasai will take this opportunity to cut a fucking promo like it's wrestling. Which I assume you are filming, Wolf. We are yes. two celestial bodies, and our battle will crash through the heavens. Um, not, not quite that unhinged, <laughs> but definitely like 
Uh, you know, I can list it all out, you know, 10 guys. No. 50 guys from this Onegaishima. <laughs> I'm sure I could defeat a demon with my uh, incredibly skilled uh, work with the blade and my study of urban subterfuge. So it doesn't sound like he will def he will they excuse me will uh, urban subterfuge so I don't know uh, I mean like at, at any point if you want to like because like I said I I assume that Wolf is because he said he would record some of this later I assume Wolf is still like piping this through neural interface so you can analyze this video footage later if you like when we're hive minding okay uh, anything else on your end Wolf in the moment though um. Is there a way to, like, get a system? I know this is dark web, so maybe not because it's dark web, but is there any way to get, like, a system ID, which I could then use to identify later should they show up in the verse or whatever, so? Uh, you could attempt to trace a user, yes. I am pretty sure that you are not going to be good at that because that's usually sysops. Okay. That's why I was just kind of check double-checking. Sis ops. Uh, well, no, it does say technically say it's opposed computers versus computers. Let me double check the core. I believe core tracking is say. usually sys ops, though. Yeah. Tracing, because it's usually the sys admin that's uh, doing it. Yes, it does say that it is the the sys op user who who initiates trace. But it is also phrased in my notes as a computers versus computers check. So I'm gonna just go to the go to the core rules where I dug most of this up from and double check. This magic. Yeah, no, I think it. I think it doesn't tend to use the subscales because it says it phrases it as the sysop is one half and the hacker is the other. So even though it says opposed computers be computers, it's sysop versus hacking. Okay. So yes, you could attempt. Uh, probably I would rather just trace. not give myself away. So yeah. Um, I will post a few more message. Like, let's see how to put this. Kind of feigning a fanboy interest in like oh trained in the sword what what style and like what do you mean by set like urban subterfuge like trying to subtly draw out some idea of like his um combat okay, style okay. uh you're gonna make me a deception okay uh, with Kasai, it's a little hard to tell in in the moment in using their VR avatar I mentioned it before they sound they they look fairly uh, androgynous, and their voice tone is kind of neutral. Um, and uh, thanks to the fact that everybody in this dark verse is probably communicating n natively in Japanese, uh, the pronouns are ambiguous. I suspect that Kasai probably uses something like a like a boku, like a very a, a boastful pronoun that is probably a little a little masculine sounding. But uh, thanks to like media and stuff, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. But uh, this would be a deception check on your part. And what opposes deception? Uh, vigilance, I believe. Vigilance. Where is my... Did I... Oh, there we go. Social skills. I did miss it. I scrolled too fast. Meanwhile, yes. or, <laughs> meanwhile, Claymore's in Onigashima sitting out here thinking, I gotta get a secretary. So, uh... If you would like to to make this attempt, you'll be rolling uh, see, your, like, whatever your deception uh, pool see, is Mark, against this is why three I stole reds. One. <laughs> okay. Hey, spoilers! This you've you've probed. Uh, you understand that the enemy has a vigilance of three. Uh, no additional uh, modifiers, though. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Oh. That is a lot of advantage and threat, and nothing else. Fuck. Well, that's, that's, uh, I mean, that is but, one of the rolls of all time. That's technically a failure, but uh, only barely. Wow, blanked out one of those reds. Even um, 
you are not able to to get much out. Uh, Kasa absolutely drops the listen. I can't reveal all of my secrets, kind of a thing. Um, Illegal. And some of your like your instant messages get buried with a couple of other people in the crowd who now that like you started the ball rolling on this are like, oh, you're so cool, you know. Marry me, notice me, Kasai Senpai, etc. <laughs> you know, listen, this crowd's not very well socially adjusted. You're in a, you're in a, you know, uh, uh, yeah. underground anonymous, uh, you know, <laughs> chat room or chat board for uh, what, what, how, how would I say, uh, for disenfranchised, uh, you know, Japanese, I, you know, youths. Oh, you're way kinder than I would have been. <laughs> Uh, I, I I think disenfranchised is the highest level I can go. Um, <laughs> I was just saying, like you're the Japanese equivalent of Stormfront. What? I mean, a little bit, yeah. Like, I don't know what that I is. Mean, they're they're a nationalist me. group. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Stormfront is a neo-Nazi <laughs> internet forum and the web's first major racial hate site. Uh, the site is focused on propagating. I just on that. The what? I press X to down first. Major, but it's it's definitely one of the ones I think was the most prominent. Uh, well, yeah, I'm just, I just yeah. pulled it up real quick, and I'm just looking yeah. at it. It's a site that's focused on propagating yeah. white nationalism, nazism, anti-Semitism, and Islamophobia, as well as anti-Bism, homophobia, transphobia, Holocaust denial, and white supremacy. What? That's how can you? Guys. How can you? How can you be against all that? At the... Wow! God. Damn. They hate everyone equally, and they're all fuckers. They try they really hate. hard. They just hate. We are angry at people who are not us. And also, sometimes we are angry at ourselves. Na and this is an well, ideology you... that's not very stable. Usually <laughs> all of angry at themselves, but I don't get paid to psychoanalyze them. Anyway, um, with, with, th with uh, oops, you know, no success and three advantage, you are not, like, called out or anything. Um, but do not get any direct intel. Um, you... Mm -hmm. Generally, though, from the from the vibe of the conversation that Kasai strikes up, uh, they seem to be a very um, aggressive individual, but not necessarily like. I don't want to say that Kaze seemed like he was honorable in his matchup. He literally like skulks around like an assassin in the night. Um, but I mean, he his, didn't... his <laughs> he was his direct. personality style is very like yeah direct like he. He just, he thought, well, the easiest way to do this is to just jump off the security, jump straight to the target, and kill them. Uh, there are people in my way? Well, I'll just kill them, you know? Like, you know, kind of like, uh, like I said, like Shadow in the Night type stuff. Um, obviously, Kasai's name invokes wind. Uh, Kasai invokes fire. Kasai is a lot more, like, seems a lot more aggressive, boastful, uh, and, you know... Uh, probably not as like directly driven, but much more showy. Uh, is is how I think I'd put it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And definitely with three advantages, I would say you know talking about urban subterfuge. Uh, you can probably guess that that means fire. All right. Um... Fire is the great equalizer. Okay, I was close. I thought bombs. Bombs can be fire. That is true. Don't ask them about fire bombs. I don't think that would go well. God, it's been like a hundred years. I don't know. I'm, I'm. Would these guys still still be concerned about that? Probably not. Pro... Well, I mean, they are nationalists, so maybe. It de it probably depends on the ideology. Like I said, a lot of these guys are young. Honestly, it depends on the person, probably. I don't actually know, like, how... It's funny, I haven't, you know, tried to think too deeply on this. I don't actually know how much we would loop back to, like, imperialist Japanese nationalism here. Because that would be, like, so disconnected from the, the you know, world that these guys are trying to get back. It would be much more like... They probably, like, dream of, like, the 80s, like, bubble economy Japan. Of, like, hey, remember when everybody thought in the future we were going to rule the world? Like, economically? That would be rad. I can't believe those darn shanghai Pact guys fucked us over by bombing our country that's definitely what ruined that for us not our own economic shortcomings anyway any further uh um 
skill. I'll just kind of, I guess, gauge the like the other main characters' reactions, if any at all. Like, so we without any got, uh, I mean, go ahead and roll me an average uh, perception. We'll say just to 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 get a read. I can tell you before even rolling, like general vibes, you can tell. Kaze is not happy about this. You know, he feels kind of like insulted um, because Kaze is ragging on him. Did well on that one. Yeah, no, that's, that's a spicy roll for an average. Um, you know, you are still doing this all through the VR dive, so it's like everybody's wearing a VTuber avatar, so it's not necessarily guaranteed that their their uh, expressions and stuff match up one to one with real life. In general. Kaze seems, like I said, a little, like, upset, a little annoyed. He is probably too much into the the ideological concept of, like, striking back at corruption in our and, and appropriation in our society to, like, actually, like, do anything that would countermand Kasai. But he... It, it is hard to, like read what he's got going on. The other two, Tsuchi and Mizu, are just kind of like sitting there silently nodding their heads. They're not really inserting themselves into this conversation. They're not like really either... They are neither hyping up nor like back-talking Kasai. So you can't really get a read on like where their opinion is at. Alright. That's fair enough. I think that's about it then. I don't think we'll be able to get too much more. All right. So conversation dies down. You uh, you leave the domain. Yep. And uh, I presume get in contact with Claymore. Yep. Claymore, did you get my video? Uh, Claymore is like silent for a second. Like, mm hmm. <sighs> These guys are idiots, aren't they? I wouldn't say idiots necessarily. Like, they are intelligent, but they are definitely... Blind, ignorant, smoking that good shit. Sure, whatever you want to put their ideology is in the wrong place. At least I think so. High and low whiz. This foolish fools. I don't need this right now. Uh... Fuck. Well, I can't really beef up security because if I do, that's going to tip someone off. But I can't do nothing either. I'm trying to think. If I wanted to keep someone from... Well, actually, that's the thing. If I wanted to burn down a place... Well, no, I guess, I guess, I guess what I have to do is I have to put myself in the enemy's shoes... How would I? It's easy how how counter terror works? Yeah. Yeah. So we basically assume that he'll prob they will probably start a fire, try to burn the blaze down, and maybe engage Claymore in combat? Question mark. Seems fair. Uh, the some I, sort. I of... would say, but without without making any rolls, because you got no warfare, so you, at yeah. some point uh, you'll probably I'll probably let you roll to like get tactical insight, but. As, as pitched in the clips that Wolf has shared with you, uh, this person's idea is that they're going to uh, make a show both to the neighborhood and the criminals, Onigashima, that uh, generally they are, they are, you know, anti-crime and uh, also believe that, you know, the, the phrase Onigashima, you know, Island of Demons is, is you know, like appropriative. So the plan is to, you know, go to one of your front businesses and flashily uh, burn it down to send a message. If 
he so happens he they you know however it works out so happens to uh to run into claymore or somebody else important uh would probably fight them to for part of the show that is not necessarily goal number one okay so goal number one is putting onagaishima in its place so burning man so uh doing an arson usually means that you need to get materials accelerant to certain areas probably multiple areas and we rig a way to set them all off uh do we have chemical sniffers uh is there a bomb detector I've talked about chem sniffers. I don't remember if that's a separate piece of gear. Here is my... Like, honestly, probably the best thing to do is to hook up a bunch of chem, chem sniffers. Uh, chem sniffers around the, around, around the end and have someone basically monitoring it on the verse. And basically a key it for um, accelerance. Uh, there is not a standalone, like, chem sniffer or demo sensor type device, but uh, I could probably, you know, figure something up pretty quick. Uh, especially if you were planning on installing them as, like, a security type system, like networking a couple sensors together, that would probably not necessarily be, like, a man portable gear item. No. Um, certainly something you could do in your, in your hotel. Yeah, no, so... <laughs> Uh, just... So basically, Kim. Uh, yeah, I think it's just gonna have to be Kim sniffers and vigilance. Claymore will probably have to stay on site for the foreseeable future, just to make sure. Does anyone did else have any ideas? Did you already do your like reopening of the the inn? No, not yet. No, the, yeah, that's been uh, booked, but hasn't actually fired yet. I if I'm going, I'm going to assume that the green reopening is when they're gonna hit. But I yeah, believe last week's that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I just could not remember exactly. I was gonna bring it up. So, well, with the grand reopening, we probably can get probably get away with a little extra security, but. I got it. I'm going to, like, I will increase security, but I will leave obvious weak points. Would I need to do some sort of check to that to basically... Yes, uh, I would probably have you check to that. That's a very, very good, uh, very common strategy in, uh, in the security business. Uh, go ahead and make me your choice of an... Mm. Yeah, it'd probably be your choice to set it up of an average no warfare or deception check. I'm gonna go with no, I'm gonna go with no warfare. Yeah, uh, I will actually treat it as probably uh, their vigilance versus your deception to actually like spot the trap, but to set it up uh, appropriately, you uh, would roll. I don't have deception though. Ah! Oh, uh, that yeah. is something I would mention. Uh... To Wolf, actually. Uh, you what? probably got a message from Jack that uh, she knows you have a dojo, but she would uh, she wants to know if you're offering lessons. I mean, that, is, be the that is the purpose subtler. of the dojo, yes. Jack will probably be signing up for your dojo. I need to justify why I'm getting better at deception and stealth. Well, I don't know about deception, but... Oh. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Yeah, probably just stealth. Webhime, you give me blues. Thank you, Webhime. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if, if Wolf is yet at the point where he's actually teaching his ninjutsu courses. Not really. Here's how you do ninja shit. Hmm. 
Because the fact that Wolf is technically not trained in ninjutsu, this is just, hey, this shit worked during the war. Oh, and now I can, uh, you know, assassinate people well with it in uh, after the war. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you can fairly reasonably, Claymore, plan a strategy that is uh, like you'd like. You know, you can increase security for grand opening night, um, which would be normal anyway. Yep. Um, as discussed with your previous milestones, Onigashima's uh, got enough manpower and equipment to to basically act as security. You know, they can roll out in, in you know, like uh, light armor, you know, like Kevlar vest and stuff, uh, you know, armed with, with a decent amount of, of pistols. Uh, and you can set up, you know, strategic weak points to funnel them in. Um, I'm going to say the threat in this case comes from, because I just also picked this in my notes, um, you can't be sure that Onigashima will play out this strategy as perfectly as you'd like because they have not yet been through, like, formal security training on any level. Yeah. Um, they have... You have probably, or maybe even their own, like, squad leaders have given them enough, like, combat discipline that they can, like, you know, watch lanes of fire and shit. You know, they've been given the basic gun safety course and stuff. No no longer do we wear our pistols stuffed in the front of our waistbands kind of a thing. <laughs> but they still have not been given any formal, like, squad tactics or security training. So um, they're going to have to wing it. And so you're going to have to, like if this strategy is consistent, you're going to have to hope that they like stick to the plan and don't either accidentally open up some real holes in your security fence or just like, you know, you got You can't be sure that these guys aren't going to see a weird intruder. And even if they've been told to let that guy go past, cause there's something more serious there that they wouldn't want to be like, Hey, who are you? You fronting on my position. Uh, which I would say if we're talking about a combat mashup, you know, like you can, you can, you know, call on Onigashima to act as, uh, aid uh, in a combat sense. Uh, based on your personal one-to-one -one experience with uh, Kaze, if this guy is as good as he was, um, one or two of your Onigashima guys is not going to stack up very well. Yeah, I should... Uh, I don't have leadership either. Uh... <laughs> No, he's frothing at the mouth. How does he even do that? That's <laughs> no, all right. I'm just, I'm just doing a big think. Hmm. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to be on site, and I'll probably. Uh, Web Hime has a has her own tech net, so I will probably. Is there any? Li there's a limit. Is there a limit to? Um. Is there a limit to how many people can be on a technet? Users? No, technically not. I think the only thing is just if you get too many people, it probably gets a little confusing. But that's it's like why a server. You have a web he made to run it. Yeah. So on the night of security, I'll basically be running um. Um. Comms through um the technet, so I can stay abreast of all situations. And try to make sense of it. So if something is reported, I can maybe get um get uh, get on it. All right. Ah. Uh... I would also say something that hasn't been been brought up out loud yet, um, but will be conducive to this game that we do play together. Uh, you Claymore know that Wolf knows about this, mm -hmm. and uh, I assume Wolf. You know, uh, maybe feeling a vested interest in. No. None of that. Uh, Wolf may be feeling a vested interest in, you know, uh, I, I don't know if necessarily like fighting these people to prove you're better at fighting than they is, which is why they're dumb and wrong. Um, but like, as we've discussed, you have a little bit of an ideological split from these uh, hot tempered youths, youths. Uh, and uh, Claymore, you know that Wolf is a intrusion specialist. Oh. Uh, that's another thing that is pretty commonly done is, you know, you uh, uh, hire a cat to catch a cat kind of stuff. Yeah, I might have just to hire Wolf. That or you just... And I don't want to... Uh, probably, especially because I've added, I've been working on adversaries and I've added so many adversaries to have abilities. Like, if we know your desire motivation, you take extra strain. I should probably, like, double-check your motivations uh, more regularly in play anyway. But 
Uh, I do not remember off the top of my head what Wolf's motivations are, but uh, I, I assume Wolf would be interested in, you know, possibly large sections of Little Rajamon not burning down. Yes. Well, hmm. I mean, it can be as simple as me just, like, finding a rooftop to perch on and, like, watching the area where your opening and your defenses are just to kind of be there. Well, again, I would try. like, I would like, personally, what I would like to do is I would like to lead this Kazai person into a confrontation with me, and then maybe I can, quote unquote, talk them down, and maybe get some fucking idea where the fuck this act, all this actually is happening. Because that's basically what I would like for them to do, is basically for them to take the opening security so they can get somewhere deep, and then, oh no, it's the final boss. Um, I mean, I I will say, based on your analysis uh, previously, your your study of this person speaking, talk them down is probably not going to work. Not the right phrase. Uh, I don't want to say that you could not hypothetically intimidate this person out of a direct confrontation. Um, that you could actually show up and be so, I mean you're literally fearsome so yes you can in fact just be so scary that they real they think okay this isn't a good idea um, I, I, I think you need to yak us to talk them down well that might also work if you beat them so they can't run away and then are like hey I'm not gonna like crush all your bones I'm just gonna tell you hey what the fuck's up um, that's another route you could go uh, I, I sorry I'm just remembering I saw a, uh, a great tweet uh, earlier this week about like social skills in, in tabletop scenarios it was like uh the the goblins who don't have any shoes are susceptible to intimidation dwarven kings are not kind of a thing like this guy seems pretty pretty proud of their skills you know up to snuff ready to fight just being like hey i'm too tough for you to fight they're probably dumb enough that they would want to try and fight you anyway all right but like well, i said actually like, you know, because you're fearsome, actually, like, getting up in their grill and being like, no, seriously, I'm too scary for you to fight, might, they might break off hostilities. Well, no, I'm probably, now that you mentioned, no, I am kind of, I will break their legs first, and then I'll talk to them. Yeah. Those legs are robotic anyway. <laughs> you don't know, you don't no, know what legs this person, person has. No. Nope. Also, you can still break robotic legs. What I'm saying is they break them, it's replaceable. Easier. So are normal legs. Why do you think robotic legs exist in the first place? So. Uh, so, actually, if... If I call Wolf and ask him to help me about this, could I have him oversee the security weaknesses and have him make the deception check to see if it, they, it, get, it catches them? Oh, yes, yeah, certainly. You can farm this out. Okay. Well, like right now, you've just rolled no warfare to like in your brain. Look at your floor plan and go, "Okay, here's what I do." And then you've you know you've you're able to draw this plan up correctly. But the two threat are you going, "Ooh, but I don't know if my guys are gonna run this plan exactly like I drew it up." All right, so I'll then go like, "All right, I'll get someone who might be able to do this," and I will, you know, message Wolf. And it's like, it's like, uh. Wolf, what's your going rate for... What's your going rate? Two thousand. All right, this wall telling is just getting burnt down, I guess. No. I'm... What do you want me to do exactly? Uh... Well, basically, I need to basically watch over to secure the... Uh quote-unquote security holes and make sure that my guys don't uh don't fuck up too badly and make sure that the bait is taken i want to have a little chat with this kazai probably after after um i get his kneecaps and ankles kneecaps and ankles all right let's just say 200 then 200 you sure yeah yeah, that's fine. All right, 200. 200 it is. So, uh, so I don't, I don't want to see the half of the half of little Rajamon burnt down any more than you do. So, 
Yep, all right. I'll wire you the crit now. Beep. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Mm. I will say something is if you're worried about uh, your guys not necessarily following the plan, mm. you might ask Odin to help with that part. He's pretty good at getting pe keeping people in line. Yeah, but that's up. But that's up to you. Well, I'm gonna be real. I don't like. I really don't want too many guys from outside on a guy from my given on a guy from my orders. That's that's a weird precedent, my dude. That's I understand that. Nah. What skill would it be to make sure they do that? Uh, to issue orders, probably leadership. Nah, fuck, but I guess. We'll just say I mean, it's a special. You can, you can do coercion to go the, the, the scary route, but there are limits of returns on that. Yeah. Odin, right. what's your leadership out of curiosity? Pretty good. I mean, that's what he rolls to do initiative, so I think it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, he is better than me then. Ah, uh, fuck. Fine. We'll just, say it's a, we'll just say it's a special circumstance due to the reopening. Hang on, let me patch in fucking Odin here. Well, you did say you wanted to bring up extra security for the grand opening. Yeah. You know, you're hiring consultants. And also, you know, use uh, code names in this case, so none of uh, none of it gets out. Remember that you're uh, Gozuki. I know. Odin. Yeah, what's happened so far? Or Run it. Axe was mentally checked out. Yeah. No, I just, I boggled the line I was going to say. <laughs> Have you been keeping track of the conversation? A little bit. But uh, what's the current plan so far? Oh. Sorry. I want to be mean to X, but I won't. But, um... It's like, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need, uh... I'm gonna need an extra pair of hands on the grand opening for, uh... Make sure this Kazai fellow doesn't, uh does it uh, spook my guys i need someone to make sure to keep it on a straight and narrow you're good at corralling cats like what's your going rate it's funny to me because owen would have a going rate for his jobs i just i haven't thought about that so i just mm. Mm. Just so you know, uh, Wolf hired on for 200 cred. I was going to say like 300 a day, but like uh, uh, 500. I, that's, let's see. Talk about a leadership, technically a, a, you know, a leadership position. That might be fair. Oh. Consider you probably only need him for the one day. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. Oh, yeah. Vintage memes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm stretching. <laughs> also, that's funny. That, that's funny, Aaron, because I was going to say, like, I think Owen would charge 2000 for a week, but that's different because it's one day. It's a week, week, so. Yeah. Um, also, I'm sorry. I, I want to make sure my bones earlier. I took my headphones off to, like, roll out my hair, which is still too long, and I cricked my neck a little. Sorry about that. Ouch. I'm stretching. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Uh, in my head headcanon, uh, when. Uh, uh, when uh, fucking Wolf said 2,000, he thought Claymore was asking him to kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you want to go 300, you can go 300. I don't want to bog this down too long. Axe, is your kid going rate 300? Yeah, 300 for a day. Uh, a little bit more steep, but fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll wire in a minute. It's like shit goes wrong. I will. I will ask for my money back. Uh, fair. I'll give it back. <laughs> Odin has a refund policy. At least for Claymore. <laughs> That's a smart policy. <laughs> All right. That's a good policy. All right. Sorry. Now I'm just thinking of the fucking guys from A New Hope. He doesn't like you. Well, that's too bad. I, I don't, don't like you. Like <laughs> what the fuck was that guy? Still one of the best line deliveries for a minor character in a movie I can remember. The reason why everybody remembers those guys. Okay, all right. So, 
consulting is engaged. All right. So, yes, I will share the plans and we will hive mine them. I will have Odin keeping my guys in line and I will have Wolf making sure that the weak points are um weak and point. Yeah. I will be somewhere inside awaiting to do a boss battle. Um, at which point we engage. Uh, Wolf and Odin can feel free to enjoy, to engage as well. We are trying not to actually kill this person, but you know, violence is violence. Violence. We is are con we are constructing ourselves uh, a better gear level. Uh, uh, sorry, I dropped my thought, which is weird because my thought was going to ask, uh, where would you like to set this up? It's your hotel, boiler room, kitchen. Do we have freezer? Do we have do we have a like a nice meeting room like uh, open probably room? you've you've uh like revamped the place at least once and are planning a grand reopening so yeah you probably have conference rooms well not necessarily a conference room but like just you know like a wide open room that you know maybe is like has like a multi purpose room you know we could take in tables bring out tables like a yeah a little bit like I'm thinking like like a banquet room yeah like a banquet room or not an events room. Yeah, events. Yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. Here. Thank yeah. you. You'd have an event space. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It is, you're aiming for, for upper scale. So, yeah, you probably have an event area. Yeah, let's go for the event area. Claymore will just, you know, chill there. Monster attack net. Sit. Look imposing. All right. Okay. Probably a well, few times when uh, Wolf is testing the thing. So, let's like, kind of walk into the room, kind of look around. I, through this time, uh, and then I'll explain what might have, what we can correct, and like all that sort of stuff. So, also, yeah. I'm not paying Jack, but I will invite Jack to the grand opening. I also not explain that. <laughs> I mean, I've, unless you weren't having that conversation on Tacnet, I have been listening in on the entire thing. I'm pretty sure what I did was I um, I called Wolf, and then I brought Odin into the conversation. So I don't know yeah, if it was. I don't actually... think you guys were explicitly. Uh, yeah, I don't. I think think we could just ask Jack to do stuff. Cool. But yeah, no, I will still invite Jack to the grand opening. But unfortunately, I will not explain that uh, there might be an attack. And ha Fair enough. later, this might be realized. Maybe I should have told Jack, but I didn't think about it. I uh, I was in my mind. I'm just keeping the tally of are we keep you know are all right okay are we keeping Jack out of it or not? Okay, so that was me. Well, I mean, no wait, I will tell Jack that there might be a fucking attack. So, <laughs> so I was gonna say, it's like, all right, how I would have a gun on me. I know that, even if you didn't tell me there was an attack. But yeah, no, it's just one of those guns. things of like, no, if Jack doesn't know what's going on, Jack might do something stupid. I, I logic that if you call her to show up at all, you tell her the situation. Oh, yeah. Realistically, I wouldn't have done anything stupid, but I also probably wouldn't have been able to do anything because I wouldn't have my drones or armor. Or weapons well, the, or well, the thing is, the thing is, I don't want you rolling around with all your drones, armor, weapon because that's very suspicious. Yes, Catchy. it is a it is a grand opening. I mean, uh, question. How out of place is it to have singular drones? Uh, in oh, okay. a singular drone? It's not that uh, bad. Specifically Vargas, not, not Jabberwock. Uh, I don't think Jabberwock is subtle enough. No, definitely not. Ever. I appreciate, I appreciate having, that for Having your, 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 your you know, robo-dog with you, your cyber hound, no, that's, no, that's not unusual at all. Okay. Uh, I'm using my stealth suit, by the way, not my uh, giant exo power armor. Yeah, no, that probably wouldn't wouldn't, wouldn't fly the the uh, dress code. Uh, I would say you guys probably have a uh, because I th I don't remember exactly when it was, but I th think you got you only just got money to pay for the grand opening with the gamer job, which was like yesterday morning. You got paid, you know, or the middle of the night, you yeah. know, like yesterday. Yeah, and then you did the Good Samaritan job the next day, so you probably still have a couple of days before it procs. If you guys want to do any pre-shopping, if you wanted to take out a bounty, 
uh, ah. or do any of your other field research. I would like to probably uh, do some bounty bountying, and I do have to make some other calls. Uh, I have to order an outfit. So, I want to know, there's a 15k job. Why is this job 15k? All right, so the posted briefing on Headhunter for one uh, Marcus Carlson, oh, which is spelled with a K in my lower notes. I spelled it with a C earlier. Maybe it's supposed to be a K. Oh, what's this going to be like? Marcus Carlson. He's... <laughs> That's why it's more. It's two people. <laughs> uh, no. uh... So, uh, according to uh, background information, Marcus Carlson was born and raised in Danish Greenland, but studied abroad in the Europa Union. Uh, originally studied as a specialist in cybernetic medicine and robotics, but uh, uh, according to notes, is said to have been uh, radicalized and joined the uh, Arctic Circle Communist Liberation Party, the ACCLA, uh, and so is a known uh, techno-communist agitator. Originally in New England, Canada, and even Alaska, for some reason, has relocated to Pacifica. Uh, was last reported being seen in the Warrens and Rookeries outside of Silicon Valley, so way down in the South South Bay area. Um, and uh, according to reports, uh, has such a large bounty on his head, and this is through uh, through government informatics, uh, because in addition to being wanted for uh, you know illegal protestation, vandalism, arson, other property damage. Uh, and, you know, like, v various th threats and violent activities, uh, has also been, uh, is wanted in connection with um, uh, basically a wide range of crimes involving uh, illegal recycling of cyberware, uh, desecration of a corpse, which is still a crime in most jurisdictions, um, what tantamount to privacy violations for uh, collecting unauthorized uh Bone and tissue samples. Uh, according to reports, uh, Carlson plans to automatize all humans in order to democratize all peoples and remove human suffering. So, uh, so I made, see. Uh, uh, I see the blood trail here. Everywhere and uh, according to reports, uh, producing bootleg androids uh, by using human skeletons to create, quote unquote. Bone drones. Oh, I see exactly what this is. Uh, there are also like report uh, police intel reports that uh, some of the thefts may have been leading to uh, production of uh, makeshift armored fighting vehicles and the like as well. So yeah, it's pretty serious. They're looking for this guy. So we're f our our bounty is on Am then, right? Hmm? Sorry. Never mind. Sorry, uh, literary reference. It's the more ideology reminded me of Am from uh, I Have No Mouse. Hey, more, I, I better call this guy the Coalition founder. You guys are both making references I don't get, so I'm lost. In my notes, it just says Techno Socialist Commissar. Uh, I was saying the the Automaton Coalition. They don't use the bone. Uh, they don't use bones. I have no mouth, and I'm a screen. Uh, the AI melted humanity down into a collective. Oh, a lot Jesus. Of <laughs> uh, th that's from I know. Uh, yeah, it's from I have no mouth. So that's that's got the you know yeah. the the uh, dialogue hate. If one word has come to exemplifies my existence, hate. 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 A being so powerful. Of however many million miles of you know semiconductors, every nano angstrom, etc. It's so powerful. But yeah, no, so, that it, uh, you know... Uh, you've got a uh, a guy who is supposed to be uh, pretty heavily cyberized himself. Um, is conducting uh, lots of crimes people don't like and think are very icky, but also probably means that he's got uh, goons. He's got the boss has ads. And what was this about armored vehicles? Yeah, I'll let, uh, he may be constructing makeshift armored vehicles. Okay. So this is all. I also just realized this is just evil me, right? <laughs> uh, it's not where I, I planned this, but yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> I, was like, I just wait a minute. Uh, yeah, let's see. We got as long as we're still like vehicles, as long as we're still artillery turret, we're fine. Yeah, no. This is if I was a psychopath. 
And I'm not commenting. All right, so that one sounds spicy. So let's check in with the other one real quick. Uh, Stark Wilson, uh, just uh, reading his, you know, the uh, briefing that was posted. Where is the actual? Uh, yeah, actually, I think this would probably come from uh, some of your other fixers, like. Uh, actually, honestly, probably based on my notes, uh, was posted through Granny Coyote. Uh, so uh, Wilson, his profile listed on the site of Headhunter is pretty basic. Basic. Uh, it says that he uh, joined a militia out of the Nevada or Idaho territory. Uh, worked as a mercenary during the collapse. The company slash gang he was part of was bought out by Suzaku. Uh, he went his own separate way. Uh, when his hometown was uh, in territory that was ceded to uh, Desert or the Great Plains. Uh, he had a long history of working as a corpo troubleshooter for groups like RGC and Northwest, uh, but allegedly was given the boot just a few years ago for being uh, extreme. Uh, several incidents involving firebombing and shooting homesteaders, and then he became a drifter. And he was spotted in the Dead Towns and Boxes area just outside of Fremont, which is the district... The in real life, Fremont is a city that's between uh, Oakland and uh, San Jose, where Silicon Valley is. So that part, you know, part of the the loop of the Bay Mega City, okay. uh, where he has been reportedly, you know, extorting local transients and nomads for cash, stealing food and livestock, and generally making a nuisance for himself. I guess that sounds uh, like known that. to use pistols and knives, but does have some experience with explosives for vandalism work. So an all-around normal scumbag. All right, so I guess the question is, do we want to do the normal scumbag or the scary scumbag? I don't want to do the scary one, because then the normal one just becomes a block in the park. I mean, I want money. Yeah. I can make that... I can make that uh... guy be so do you want my out-of-character answer or in-character answer? In-character, please. The only Irish dot <laughs> I'm sorry, you gotta repeat that and enunciate. He garbled the fuck out. I have no I can idea. make it 22. I have no idea what, it, what he said. <laughs> Glory to Arstotska. Uh, papers, please. Ah. Glory to Arstotska. I have never actually played Papers, please, so. Man. I haven't played it in a long time, too, but I just. That... I can probably make it. I can make that 15k 22.5. It's not bad. That'd be pretty good. I want to tell you, we then get about 5.5k ish. Give or take a little, like, give or take like 200. Wait, excuse me, what? Uh, if I made a 22.5k, everyone would get about 500, uh, 5,500. I mean, that'd be pretty good. We'll give or take an extra 100 or 200. I'm just more, I'm more concerned about their fucking. Heavily cyberized and with drones, with human bones, bone drones. Bone Welcome drone. to the bone zone. <laughs> this is like some Resident Evil. This is like Resident Evil, but like more hard sci-fi instead of like weird. I, listen, you know, you guys wanted to step up, step up your game, so like I, I cooked. Oh, <laughs> this is exactly my area of horror, and I love it. Odin, can I can I ask you? Can I ask a favor of you to find something for me? I'll give you the cash for it. Is me asking Odin a favor like something so weird that it, that it blows Axe's mind? Because all I heard him say was, "Huh." No, I can't I, tell. That, that no, my ear, my, no, I couldn't I, tell if it was "huh" or "uh huh." No, I'm sorry. It's just a something dumb in my end. It's not. It's is your your headphones okay? You seem to be like no. Yeah, I had to come back in. Okay. <laughs> your, your 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 brain seems like it's switching tracks a lot. Yeah. Okay. I can find you something. Yeah. Bones out! What the fuck? Oh my god. Of course. This, wow. this blingy exists. Ugh. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Why does this look like a shitty metal cover? Probably is. But uh, what are you looking it's for? No, it isn't. It's like, I need... I need to. Uh, I need you to find me the parts to convert a rifle into... Um, into uh, to convert a rifle into a seeker rifle. Parts are really rare. Not so... Not so pricey. I know what I'm looking for. I just don't know where to get it. 
This is a rarity 10 check, by the way. I think I will check my list of things. I closed my document. Idiot. Uh, let's see. Seeker round conversion. Yeah, that's it. Rarity 10. Oh, it's only 1,500. While that happens, though, I am going to make my friends in low places check. Yep. Let's see. I... It is a 10, so it'll be all Up to eight. Mm -hmm. Almost. If I got yeah, one more, I could have said, fuck it. I get it myself, but nay. I can no, get up to, you can go up to eight. I will go up to eight. Let me see here. See if does the trap do you anything? Uh I don't think the trap does anything specific with friends in low places. It does it has nothing listed. Yeah, Meg, I have a brief question. Does anyone on this list of people I have would apply here to finding secret recursion? Uh, Ooh, uh... Yeah, they're two Probably unnamed not, people. So far, like yeah. the only thing you got is like, you know, you know people about like Blades and right, as a car, but that's more there's more custom weapons instead of actually getting like parts. Yeah, it's outfitting. You're 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 looking for like something that converts a normal weapon into Yeah, an actual gun person. It's like I have a knife guy, I have a car I guy. Mean, it's still no matter what, it's rarity ten, you gotta roll. Yeah, true. I like, will. It was more just like Yeah. Uh I don't think you no, it doesn't seem like you have a pre existing contact that would, would have a line on this, but yeah, you all right, I need to roll negotiation anyway to see. Full five? Yeah, it's ten. Okay. Oh, I go uh, look at the pool we got. Uh, I'm not doing that. I mean, you still got like threes. I, think. I can flip one. Save myself having to flip it, undo it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to use your once per, per session ability to just flip it back, we can stay at Yeah, let's do that. Give myself. All right, so I'll be paying. I, I... Finish. No, you finish. You finish. Your your. Can I decrease? Uh, no. We had okay. this discussion last time. Yeah, it's it's. I was trying to remember. Uh, upgrade the difficulty of somebody targeting you, or upgrade your ability only. Oh, okay. Only up, no down. As I play with my mala. Maybe I should get master and become master of negotiation. Sounds sounds solid. Uh. To consider. That's a good one to because none of the bio because none of the biotech I got works in a negotiation. Oh, superior is only seven hundred and fifty. Holy shit! I thought it'd be more. The game cannot decide how much superior is worth. Tbh, like I've the superior weapon customization exists in like every single game line that allows weapon attachments. Right? Yeah. Um The price is different in like every fucking supplement. Uh, the I do feel like it's place. significantly worse on a weapon than it is in armor, which is probably why it's so much cheaper. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's only it's like like it used to be like a damage and an advantage. Now it's just an advantage. I'm like, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it's still pretty good, but yeah, but yeah. So, uh, we'll get the pool. If you want, you can take assistance from this. Obviously, I am taking assistance. I don't know if anyone else can help me with this. I, I can't. I'm already because technically, uh, I have all better things than Sophia, so technically she's just giving me. Unskilled assistance or definitely was just the assist mover at just any time. It's yes. just too blue. She so. gets you boost. Hey, it could be worse. I've I've designed several NPCs who have like the the you know uh corporate ability, which is like, okay, if they give you assistance, they give you uh success but two threat. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh, do I think I reroll this just in case? No, I don't. That's only we gotta uh Big check. No, I don't think you have natural on. Uh, nice. Fuck. Yeah, there you go, man. All right, okay. You got 50% off. How much off? Um, 15. 15. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what did you, before I uh, say anything with this triumph result? Uh, what did you want to get with your friends in low places, Claymore? I wanted to get the heap rounds. Okay, you can still do that. Well, I, I would have to get even with the triumph. I don't think I get because they're restricted. But um, it's true. It would be a different skill set. But um, I do need a superior. That was going to be the other mod I was going to do on this. Uh, definitely, you can get that added as well. Also, cool. at a, if you're willing to spend the cash, fifteen uh, percent discount. Yeah, I'll do that then. All right then. So I will wire the money. Uh, let me see here. So that's what's fifteen paid off. Seven seven fifty. 
Fifteen hundreds, there. Fifteen hundreds, easy. That would just be uh, thirty fifty. Then. Ten percent sentry. I'm sorry. What axe? It's an annoying number because it's like a point five number. Um, Fifty percent off sent fifty. Uh, round up, I believe, in so, this case always. All right then. Uh, so in that case, it's a. Uh, because that would be, it'd be minus. 112.5, so it'll be minus 113. Minus 113? Okay. Which means it'd become 6... 637. 37. Yeah, 637. Okay. And secret run conversion. 1 plus 1, that's too quick math. No, I already got, I already got that one. <laughs> okay, so, that's, yeah. that's a round number, that's easy. Yeah. But yes, with your friends in low places, you can scrounge up heap rounds. I guess you do that with the triumph, yeah. Because otherwise, I was gonna use it like, because I was gonna ask you what you want to do with it first, and then ask if you didn't have anything. I would then say like, I just, I just don't have a gun guy now. But that's the thing. Yeah, he's using it to secure additional mods. Uh, hang on. You need to pay around. You need to pay around two thousand, ish, instead of like over two thousand. I mean, you count the heap as well with the friends in low places, because that's also, it's much less rare, but that's also 1,500. That would be like oh, oh, almost 4K. Then you get that for free, though, from like that roll? Yeah, I do. Yes, but... no, I'm just saying. It's, okay, you know, yeah, fair. Everything working together, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. Thumbs up. So, hang on. So, purchasing, buying. So, this will be 1912. Total. Let me try and mark that. All right. Now, well, Claymore's gonna have to drive out to Oakland because I need to go see Jack because I can't put this shit together myself. You're coming to me on this night. No, I'm, I'm about to it. say I'll turn my car away, car around. Car around. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you're confused. That's the demon that Jack has. God damn it! I was like, "You call me here. Uh, You're trying to like walk on my territory here." It's like, no, I want to shut up, to Jack. It's like, Jack, I got. Yeah. I need to put together a new. I need a new toy put together. You know, lay out his um right. his uh heavy battle rifle, and then the uh the superior seeker conversion, and the heap uh the heap rounds. I think that's just a normal check, right? Uh, it's average, yeah, to install. Yeah. Yeah. Make three of them, please. All right, there's one. Watch, hard, how many hard points is a battle? Extra. Uh, how many hard points is a rifle? Have? Heavy rifle has four. Yeah, it has four. Oh, yeah. okay, it's exactly four. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Uh, that's the seeker and uh, mod installed. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's go superior next. Or do you want me to do superior next, or do you want me to do heat rounds? Uh, do heat rounds, please. Okay, heat rounds. I also did the check wrong, so that could have been higher, but it doesn't matter. Um, because I forgot I have four mechanics now. Four mechanics. Uh, Oof. Okay, uh, heat rounds installed. Um, let's see on the uh, um, glass one is superior. Yes. All right. And this will probably um, take me a good two hours. I'm just making the checks now. Yeah. The dumb thing that came to mind, I was like, look at this claim where you got a whole team that has very wide coverage that does very, does the, good at their jobs. Hey, yeah. All right. Thank you. No problems. Thank you. So, yeah, uh, basically this takes your, you know, uh, battle rifle, which was already chambered in some, uh, you know, full-size rifle rounds, some serious zip, uh, and converts it into... Uh, uh, gyrojet seeker projectiles, uh, which are uh, high explosive armor piercing. Yes. It loses so, auto fire, uh, though. Yes, you lost auto fire, uh, but your weapon is now uh, uh, breach two guided two. Yes. Superior. Gary. Can I ask why you need this? Um, He uh, taps it. Drone killer. Oh, I mean, most drones will go down to regular bullets. Um, unless he has some of the really fancy shit. 
it also breached an APC, I think, because it goes through at least two armor. Yeah, it's it's definitely a good anti-vehicle gun, that's for goddamn sure. No, actually, no, it's still shit against vehicles. Uh, I mean, you know, you've got... Breach 2 is not... not... Like an APC, not tanks. Well, yeah, not tanks. I yeah, said yeah. anti-vehicle, not anti-tank. Well, that's what I mean by anti-drone. It's good for, like, light... It's good for, like, lightly armored, like... Light... Oh, okay, it's the full tank. Yeah. All right, yeah. so, yeah, it's it's... Basically, anything that's armor two or less is guaranteed one point of structural damage. Yeah. Yeah. There, honestly, there, there's very few drones he could have that would outdo this. So, and I don't think he has. I'm not going to say for sure, but the logistics of making a hunter killer drone out of bone is. That'd be a lot of bodies. I mean, femurs are stronger than concrete. Yeah, but a hunter killer drone is about the size of a plane. Talking about this gun, this makes me think of like Claymore fighting a Metal Gear. <laughs> By the way, I'm talking while I'm uh, working on it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like uh, Claymore is like you know like shrug is like the point of this gun was always to be something for more mechanical things. Like he points to hey, the I... to the um, air rifle. It's like that's for fleshy targets. He points to the pistol. That's for being uh, sneaky. Uh, he thumbs at his truck where the rail cannon is stuck. And that is the uh, fuck this in particular. <laughs> Makes sense. It, it should take down most things. Uh, unless he has something like that. I just point my uh, my finger at my suit. But I doubt it. Nah. Like I said. It's like, Listen. Listen, when things are worth a when people when people are ah, excuse me. When bounties have that much mo money money in them, that's that's always a little worrisome. Nah, it makes sense. Guy sounds uh Well, actually, who's putting out the bounty? That's something I wanted to ask. Uh, it's the it's the government. It's it's the the police. Yeah. Oh, okay. A fully wanted it's a well, national cause, bounty. Because the because if it was a uh, expensive bounty, it could have been. He's not necessarily done a lot, but he did something that's somewhat important. But if it's the police, no, this guy's fucking. Yeah. So I basically made the super the super seeker rifle. Yeah. I image these things are like I, I don't know why, but I'm imaging it like bolter rounds, but like not gyro jets. I mean, no, they're they're, they're seekers; they're self propelled. So yeah, it's 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 keep. All right. Well, and if it gets too threat, it can run out of ammo because the uh, you really have to squish the mag size to fit all that shit in there. Oh shit! That's right. I do I have any spare mags left? Yes, I do have Jeez. one spare mag because I didn't actually use it when I ran out of ammo last session. Uh, speaking of which, um, just in case, hold on, Omega, I'm gonna pick some stuff up before we do this bounty. Yeah, yeah, we're we're in the shop phase. Uh, Wolf Odin, stuff. do you have anything you would like to prepare for this next uh, operation? It is now uh, the F1 F200 H car heavy seeker rifle. Uh, I don't, don't know if it's for this operation, but I will try and get an infiltrator drone again. Okay. Should I try to get it for you? Nah, I, I, I want to get him. Uh, also, I don't think you'd be able to because it's, uh, if I remember correctly, it's restricted. That's, that's, not, that's not an issue for me. Oh, oh. Adding an upgrade's not an issue? It. It's not monumental difference. It's still it's a difficulty like seven, I think. So like three dice? Oh. It's, a, it's a six, so yeah. it's it's. it's oh no, it's dice. six, it's three dice. Yeah. I thought it was four dice for a second. Damn. Oh, you found yeah. one, but it's a little more expensive, it. I think. Maybe not. Uh, else. I think with the th well, with the, th the three success, the one threat, like the price hike, balances out. Um, I hope you weren't counting on a on a deep discount, though. No. All right. If I remember uh, correctly, it's not that expensive. It's just rare. Uh it's like twenty five hundred. Yeah, it's twenty five hundred. It's a decent price. Yeah, that, there, I mean, there's some that's pretty there's cheap. some really cheap drones. There yeah, are some drones very expensive pay. drones. Dro drones are definitely cheap. like <laughs> drones are definitely like the run the gamut in terms of prices. Like they're like dummy drones are cheap as shit. Um, yeah, the uh, the cleaning drone is like two hundred bucks to buy a Roomba. 
Sorry, a Roomba. Yeah. Yeah. Even it's the military, even the security drone are pretty cheap. I think they're like five hundred. Yeah, it's on. It's honestly because, like, in the grand scheme of things, they're not that good. They're they're a uh, yeah. toy helicopter with a gun bolted to it. And don't check that. Is there bioware that but, affects yeah. discipline checks? Uh, <laughs> is there bioware that affects discipline checks? Bioware that affects discipline? No, I don't think so. Okay. Nope. Uh, excuse closest, me. The closest thing I think would be the there's either the what the either the pain or the emotion dampener, which well, gives you a will. I mean, but you need b discipline okay. checks to install Bioware, so it wouldn't make sense uh, that there's one it's resilience. Also. Oh, you said Bioware. Never mind. No, I'm thinking yeah, it's no, everywhere. It's, it's Bioware. No, I don't think there's one that necessarily improves your discipline. Fair enough. I, I don't. I I don't think there is a a, a gene mod for uh, you know sucking it up the alternative is that's the, fair the... i mean i yeah, could help there. you uh do that um i could improve your discipline Whoops. but uh it would have permanent side effects so you've ever heard of lobotomies if i nope. cut out a specific section of your brain you're no longer allowed to feel fear you're not a this doctor is what, uh, uh, this is what emotion dampeners are uh, most doctors are not the ones who performed lobotomies. Yeah, I know. And I don't. You're never gonna have a. You're not gonna have a surgeon degree for at least two decades. I don't know. I, she can put her time in. Do on you think degree. most? Um. Anyway, ever... uh, is there anything in particular you would like with your uh, triumph on that drone check, Wolf? Uh, let's see. Uh, because drones can be uh, augmented, obviously, with you know. Uh, Cyberware and other uh, devices to make them better. But let me turn cyberware. <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh, that's right. I remember something I was gonna pick up. Uh... Shit, I'm an idiot. What? Oh no! I should have used my um, little friends and little pisses to pick up the NXRA, which is exactly a rarity eight. Oof. And twenty five hundred. Breach through gun instead. Nah. Breach through gun. Think... It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I guess you can do it next session. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, Omega. Oh, sorry. No, I could. Use. I'll have a writer mount module. Uh... Yes, yeah, so that seems like a very, uh, very good install. Yeah. Yeah. All right, <laughs> Dallas Hughes, what's up? Uh, I would like to pick up. You know where I bought the grenades from that one dude? The grenade tube. Yes. I need sure. you to buy a specific kind of ammunition. Am and ammunition. Yeah. What you looking for? If I could. Ammunition. Uh, I would like to purchase. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, so they became Texan. I tell you what. Also, she's, not pra Texan, she's practicing her disguise southern. skills. To be very fair, uh, Jack is southern. It's true. Um, just not that kind of sort of. She's gonna practice her disguise uh, skills for when she goes under to yeah. steal her zeppelin. Uh, southern Bell. I would like to pick up uh, some EMP grenades. As yeah, those are restricted. Now. You can, uh, nope. can go for no, that. No. They are five, so you could just uh, you could just buy them outright if you want to pay market price, or you can try and negotiate. Uh, you do get a. How much is it for a bandolier of six? It would be a... six times that. So yeah, but you get a fifty percent discount, I believe, for buying okay. in bulk on the grenade launcher. Let me double check. Yeah, I think that's what it was. So it'd be like five hundred ish. Yeah, fifty percent. No, it'd be three hundred. And... I can't bring think thoughts. Uh, uh, I don't even want to give you right 325. Shit. <sighs> so yeah, I'll just I'll just buy them out, right? I got a home, I got amenities, a car. I got all the weapons I need. I don't need a power suit. It's not my job, it's Claymore. <laughs> uh I got all. I have like. I have like owned like two thirds of all the programs. Is there any gear you could use? How many programs do you have? Minifab. 
potion pack? I, I, I have all the active. I just I have I own those. I own like let's see. There we go. Friends kit. Uh... I own ten programs. Yeah. That is a decent amount. As long as they're not. I only can use like five of them at once, but yeah. Fuck, I'll I'll go see if I can just go. Wait, do I have enough for the NXRA? Yes. See, I have ranks in custom rigs, so I can't have all of them not inactive. That's what it's there for. Yeah, I got it. Like, I can't find... Which one's custom rig again? Oh, that's the, the, the one for the, the, the thingy majiggy. The thingy and the majiggy. The yeah, the, the, the hand computer guy thing. Yeah, I think the main thing here is just that, like, this is, this is the problem I think every tabletop game has, but nope, uh, there's only. That. Uh, at a certain point, there's only so much you can design equipment for your base. Yeah. Short of continuing to buy more calf, how's your strength threshold, buddy? Uh, I'm at 3 of 15 right now, because... Actually, wait, no. Does Zen program only work when, during combat? Uh, Zen only lets you recover automatically after, com after combat encounters, yes. Well, after encounter encounters. It's just when you're running it to treat your strength levels higher. Yes, yeah. that always applies when you, okay. you are... As I long have as a, you're I, actively sucking up one of your program slots to Zen Zone, yes. It is. I, I, I usually keep that one, and I... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 3 to 17 is not bad. That one's on my age for. So I it's like, I did not have enough for full rend. So... 3 to 15. Can I put Superior on my exoskeleton? Yeah, I think so I'm going to go with the NXRA and full rend on my exoskeleton. And... Mm -hmm. Just try not yeah, to die. Dude. Where is it? Did I want to save for that? I guess I'll check with them. Honestly, right the now. way this this game is, is set out, and especially the way I wrote the, the drawbacks to the powered exoskeleton, die. where, you know, you have to take five minutes to get out of it, and uh, you can be uh, EMP'd in it. Yep. Um, that, like, ha having a couple of you in Reinforced is like, nah, that still scales pretty well. Like, that means I can still do the old, like auto cannon, you know, like light vehicles or even some uh heavy enemy drones have some 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 zip, you know. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's my heavy armor. It's not like we were talking about this last session. It's not something I can just wear around town. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, but I think I will wear it for this bounty. Actually, so I'm just looking at the like the generic gear stuff you know, because I'm thinking of things, and it's just like, yeah, no, like uh, asking Odin, does he want to take up like rollers or hoverboard for mobility? No, oh, I, I was, so. I was more gonna ask. It's like I was gonna get. Uh, I'm, I'm actually just gonna buy things to put in my place. Actually, I'm gonna get a wet fab, smart binox, a rebreather, a power generator, and a mini fab. Sure. No, those are some of those are are a little expensive, but yeah. I mean, they're like it's like I think it's think just Bible market price. Actually, let me just, uh, I'll do the, they count the math together one moment. Sounds like Odin's getting ready for a fucking typhoon or something. <laughs> no, I'm just going to have them in my did, basement. Yeah. Odin, did you get into those Doomsday Prep channels? No, it's just like, <laughs> tell me, I've always said Odin, I don't, okay, this is the next thing. I've always said Odin had a wet fab, so I'm just going to buy it just to, to like, to continuity. Yeah. I mean, listen, it's in the basement. It's the same basement we routinely meet at, probably, so it's not like Actually, he's the only one that's going to be using it, probably. Also, actually, we, uh, the basement's actually just a the basement's just a storage room. Actually, the oh, okay. we meet on the we usually meet in like his office on the first floor, and the second floor is just free. There's a couch in there. Yeah, there's, a, there's uh, an office. Yeah, just in the back back space. Uh, but also, I just want to say, like, I'm pretty sure that as a sprawl character, I think Odin literally had the move about being paranoid, like, uh, or that was an option you considered. Like, uh, it to me, it is totally in character that like. I have it, Odin I guess. Has a couple of, of of stuff like you know, you know, you've got like yeah, you know, a mini fab and a wet uh and a wet fab are like normal um. Normal people like, live alone. Yeah, they're they're pretty typical like modern conveniences, but you know, like get, getting yourself an extra like power generator just in case is you know like that totally you know fits. Like I don't know if someone's gonna ever attack the power grid one day because that might happen considering the shit I do and deal with. 
I, honestly, I would, uh, you know, I almost imagine, oh, I, I feel like Odin at one point would think also, what if I have to attack the power grid one day? Yes, actually. What, yeah. what if I need Claymore to just take his big meaty paws and yank the power plugs in this in this neighborhood? What Are do I do mean? then? I, I would just say big chrome talons, actually. Do I own enough flashlights? <laughs> All right, Give him the it's clamps! Like... clamps. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... One day I'll have to ask Wolf to like cleave a concept in half, I think, because he could probably do it. Uh... Anyway, guys, 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 we, we are we are tangenting. Okay. We're yeah, we're cooking. We're about an hour and a half. Come um, on. Sorry about that. Is, is Shop Spree's Dunsies? Yes, I am uh, Dunsies for now. I have failed many I checks. Finished. I had one last thing I was thinking of. All right, go for it. Um... Can I give uh, Horigami 5,000 credits to start researching a uh, combat use thermic blade? Uh, yeah. I don't you want a custom version of one? Hmm. I um, well, like specifically thermic blade is not initially meant for combat. It's meant for sport fencing and industrial industrial sport. <laughs> I mean, no, no, just, no. The, the thing you know, the perfect way to describe it is a, is a, yeah, it's a, it's a dueling weapon. A not really a novelty, but it's, it's definitely like a certainly performative. Yeah, you could. Uh, uh, trying to think, I don't, uh, I don't think they would need the the. He wouldn't need the down payment right now, but one. Uh, I do have a, an idea for where this is going, but uh, you do still owe Torigami a favor. Yeah. From your last rush drop. Uh, I would say that you don't need to budget out the cash right now. Okay. Um, but you can definitely contact him and be like, hey, you ever thought of, you know, uh, a, 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 a combat type thermal weapon? You'd be like, well, that'd be an interesting engineering challenge. I know that, you know, the thermic axes exist. I have a thermic axe. Yeah. I want a thermic axe. You want mine? I, I no, how do I, I, I really immediately think one. of? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what Dallas said. I don't really want one. I want the idea of one. <laughs> that also also is where I, my 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 thought went. Is just like yeah, Jack Jack wants the concept of a thermic axe. If if Claymore was like, you want my thermic axe? She'd be like, no. Nah. Uh, you can definitely use it. <laughs> do a contact about that though. Yes. Yeah, well, I spent my melee. Uh, Spent my melee points in brawl. Yeah, Tor Torigami would probably be like, "Yeah, that's an interesting puzzle. Let me think about that one. I'll, I'll get you my, but I'll get back to you on my budget." All right. That's what I wanted to ask about as well. Oh, I'll do that later. It's because it, it's, right, a, I'm all it's done. another custom okay. job. All right. Uh, everybody's definitely done, right? Yes. I put my math okay. out. Friend of mine. I have stuff to ask you later. Okay, that's fair. Uh. Well, I'm going to uh, pause it anyway and step away for a sec. We haven't going for a half hour, but I just want to make sure we got all the way before we okay. take a break. See, okay, okay. Uh, when we come back, what do I usually say? Like easy streetwise to find a man's. It varies, but usually. I mean, would it be an easy streetwise check to find this dude? It might be. It might be average. I have paused the audio, by the way. I'm stepping away. I'm gonna roll over these now, just to get out of the way. It's five, so it's only average. That is a lot of stuff. <laughs> It's a it's a tire, it's, it's a list of a co a, a joke, uh, yes, the contents no, of a shed. That's that's why I wheezed as I read your second post axe, which is this is the contents of a shed. <laughs> I'm like, yes, you're correct. Yes, this is just your shed. But hey, it's good to have. It's like I just have a shed of stuff in case. Yes, All right, just in so case that's, shed. Uh, a two success triumph on the spotty. Yes. Okay. All right. So you guys bust down to uh, way down south. In the land. And uh, you know, down to the the furthest limits of Silicon Valley, into the old uh, rookeries and warrens. Uh, you're looking at like, you know, sc scattered slums right at the edge of what counts as city limits. Lots of old, rundown, uh, you know, warehouses. Nothing, uh, X. Nothing old office spaces that are like like office blocks from like you know quarter of a century ago type shit um 
but definitely nobody lives or works down here by choice. It may be possible that, you know, there are some people who are, are still keeping on, but there's a lot of, I'm going to say, looks like a lot of squatting um, and, and uh, I, I was going to say scavenging, and then I was like, is that right? No, no, there probably is some scavenging here. Like, a, a big industrial warehouse has, you know, got a lot of crap in it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but, like, uh, are you guys all just rolling up in the in the technical? In the gun bun? I mean, I'm in my van. Okay. Well, that means now I have to ask who's in what car. Wolf will be with Jack. Okay. I'll be of Because you mentioned possibility of armored vehicles, so I'm in this. I'm in my anti vehicle weapon. I am an anti vehicle weapon. Yes. So, uh, you know, you're you're trucking along. I guess that means Odin's with Claymore, or Claymore's by himself. Who knows? Probably prefer to have at least two people so somebody can operate the gun mount, though. Yeah, I heard I heard Axe say he was with Odin. Okay. Yes, yeah, same. Or not? Or pff, yes, Axe Claymore, Claymore. Yeah. We're all together. We got it. Um. So yeah, you guys are just rolling down the streets. It's you know, uh dingy run down a lot of blown out street lights and and stuff that need replacing that are just never going to be replaced because when the city finally the mega city finally deigns to remember that this district exists it will probably be to eat it up and build you know another chunk of skyscrapers or industrial parks or something here uh cracked asphalt and sidewalks everywhere you know it looks like shit total urban decay um, you can occasionally see, you know, like, uh, culverts, you know, like artificial channels for water to flow out to the sea in a couple of places. There are some spots that maybe were once, you know, greenery parks that are just, uh, barren and dyed brown. Yeah. Um, but you do spot pretty quickly because you rolled pretty good. Um, there are a couple of blocks here in this area where you've got your search grid, which are, uh, done up with um you would say claymore vaguely communist themed graffiti L lots of red stars a couple of hammers and sickles but sometimes the hammer and sickle are like really weird and fucked up they're like you know so a chainsaw USS and a sickle or something more ussr iconography than communist iconography yeah, a little, a little leaning like over there. I mean, this guy's Danish, so. Um, but like, through like some weird uh, filters, um, and you do spot uh, there is a uh, a rundown building which uh, has a you know piecemeal sign here that says uh, funeral home on it. Uh, and this actually, like, you know, with your, your triumph looking around, this has signs like people are actually going into and out of it, uh, which, again, because there's nobody living here is weird. Uh, and uh, being a funeral home, there are actually a couple of... Uh, perks probably is the wrong word, but there are a couple of tactical advantages to this, which is that um, there is, you know, a front and a parking lot up front, but there's also around side where they have a side access, which includes a pull-in garage for hearses. Um, and presumably also has some kind of, like, you know, uh, area for um, embalming and other prep, prep work in the back as well. Uh, like I said, there's, there's, there's signs, you know, scuffs of... of feet oil drip from cars you know tire marks and stuff um you may even with a triumph you know be lucky enough to see that there are some lights on in this place so you got a pretty good idea of where you're this is this is the target building i'm in favor of just shooting up the whole damn thing because there's probably nothing good actually going on there is there well make sure he doesn't have any captives first before we like literally firebomb it I mean, I'm not gonna firebomb, and I'm gonna walk in there and start shooting people. Okay, that's fair. That's fair because I was just gonna say, like, 
Wolf could scout yeah. it out, but Do we that's want to come from it. different angles. Um, if you guys want, if uh, you guys want to like uh, take the um, side, I can uh, start the ruckus from the front. Works. Like I said, mm -hmm. I will. If you give me like five minutes, I'll get in the exosuit. Sure. I'm pretty. I don't. I don't know if I can drive in an exosuit. I'm gonna be real. Uh, you can get some work done on the cab to get it enlarged, but that still well, might be a little bit of an depends. awkward thing. Well, you got. Well, you got to remember, it's an exosuit over Claymore, who is already non euclidean enlarged. It's an extra large. Do you exosuit. have your? Uh, do you have the uh, modification that lets you drive via neural interface? I mean, I have. I have neural interface. I, I don't know if I, that lets me. Can I, can I drive? Uh, I mean, you you bought a pretty modern car, right? It's yeah. probably got an autonomous mode. Yeah. So yeah. you you could remote operate it if you wanted to. Yeah. Just sit. I'll just. Because once again, still, that would, you'd driving. still be very compact in the driver's seat, even if you're leaning yeah. back and doing it wirelessly. No. Yeah. No. Jack I will. Is driving the car, but uh, Wolf is in the driver's seat. But um, I yeah no uh give me give me like five minutes to fucking suit up here. No problem. And so um, Claymore will suit up. Iron Man montage music plays. Pretty much. Um, he will... I have a question, Omega. Yeah. Can drones wear armor? Uh, wear is debatable, but you can uh, augment their armor with some stuff. Okay. Are you curious if these drones are wearing armor? Well, no. I was wondering if I could stick a Jabberwock in my exosuit. I mean, uh, probably not because the exosuit's designed for you, and you're probably about a foot shorter than he is. That's all. I, yeah. Fair. These, these things do usually need to be custom sized. All right. So, uh, Claymore gets in his exosuit. He shoulders his um, he um, shoulders his rail cannon because we're already going big. Why not go the biggest? Mm, yep. And he'll take his uh, seeker ri his heavy seeker rifle. That's what I'm gonna call it. And both hands, he's like, "All right, I'm gonna go kick down the front door." All right. Anybody else on front door team? Uh, well, Jabberwock will be. Okay. I, I'm sticking in my car in case he brings out vehicles. In which case, I'm gonna drive over to them. Okay. All right. Who wants to do the side route? Wolf will head to the side. I'll go range support. I mean, it's a it's a funeral home, so yeah, you gotta be inside the shoot. You gotta be inside the shoot, dudes. Ah, uh, fair enough. Funeral homes are big. Yeah. Uh, do you want to be front door or uh, the backside? You know, the her stock. That was addressed to Odin. I'll take the side. Okay. So Wolf going in with uh, Odin backing him up. Yeah, I'm gonna just... kick in the front door. Jack is gonna sit at the back as usual. Just gonna suck up. Oh, I do. Cloud got, cutter. I, I, got, I got Jabberwock with me. That counts. Yeah. Yeah. Get a guy with you. I got a guy with me. All right. So, uh, Claymore kicks down the front door. <laughs> Cheap, uh, you know, synthetic uh, wood slurry goes everywhere. This, you know, this thing was made of like pressed particle board or something. Mm -hmm. Uh, you kick up, you know, about. Uh, uh, I said it was in use, so it's not like literally 25 years of dust, but there's a lot of dust that goes up. Clearly nobody uh, maintains, you know, the front reception desk office. That's all down. You just keep, you know, stomping along into the, the actual, you know, uh, I guess like, uh, would it be, I guess, you know, funerary might be the right word. It's not like literally a chapel, but the spot where you would sit, you know, and do the actual uh, service. Yeah. Um, where there are indeed rows and rows of folding chairs, uh, but instead of a, a, a coffin up on the front plinth, uh, you see uh, a gentleman uh, wearing, you know, a long coat uh, layered with, uh, with clearly got some extra armor pads sewn in, got a, a you know, visible uh, bright red cyber eyes. He's wearing a, a classical peaked cap with a red star. Um and you know he he you know rushes up on the stage and he points dramatically at you Claymore and says, "I will not." By the way, I have not attempted to do a Danish accent. Um, 
I don't even know what that sounds like right now. Also, I, 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 should, I should clarify, I should remind everybody, a Greenlandic Danish accent. This guy was born in Danish Greenland first. Yeah, that's like a layer of dialect on top I of that, yeah. I don't even know. Um, yeah. It is him! Get him! Go, my minions! Uh, so, uh, in the folding chair, stand up. Let me see if I know exactly how many of these guys are. Otherwise, I'll just... No, okay, we're freeballing. Um, about a dozen... You might call them Terminators, uh, Claymore. You might be old enough to actually get that reference. Um, like, these are clearly skeletal robots, which indeed some of them are definitely actually built out of real skeletons. Um, like, a lot of them have skulls that are crammed full of, like, sensors and optics and other stuff. Um, mm, I do not like this. Like we're you fighting know, a black some death. of them have like their their like rib cages, which are meant to actually like be part of the the core structure. Their vertebrae, which are like piped together and strung together, not actually making use of a lot of skeletal like arms and legs. Maybe some of the leg and arm bones, but most of those are like actual like those skeletal robotic limbs. Um, but yeah, uh, there's about a dozen of these guys, and they're gonna uh, unsling their rifles and turn to you, and uh, that'll be combat on your part. Um, Ta -da. In the back. Wolf, are here. you sneaking? You uh, full sneaky that? pants, Wolf? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm staying uh, a distance from Wolf, so I don't give him away, because I'm not stealthy. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have you roll, roll stealth as well. Uh, it'll just be counted separately. Uh, your stealth pool will be versus, in the back, da -da 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 -da. uh, three <laughs> reds, one purple. Hmm. Is this with uh, digital scanning? Or with electronic uh, electro systems? Yes, if you have sensor dampening, uh, this would be electronic uh, okay. or something. So you should add uh, your any setback dice you would add as boost dice to this. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I will roll for Coddleson and also his Mookles. Are we rolling initiative? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, at least uh, for. Cool, uh, I'm assuming. I knew I was kicking down doors. Yeah, it's probably yep. cool for you guys. You knew what you were doing. I will combat command actually first. Turn well, self -check don't, first. don't you? I need your stealth check first. All right. Uh, there'll be three reds and a purple. Yes. Uh, All right. One second. I'm checking one thing. Damn. All right, you are stealthy. I have to just to identify or remember. Okay. Uh, Ooh, I just carried that. <laughs> Blue dust really did well, you still that. got three threats, so. But you succeeded. Way worse. You are not seen. Probably. Very something. Hmm. I'm looking for, I'm looking for. You are not seen. You run into them and. Oh, we'll come back and later. All right, one okay, success, good. one advantage for myself. All right, cool. You can, uh, uh, you wolf can roll cool. Um. You sneak in through the uh, the dock and uh, get ready to go in the back, uh, and and uh, out from a pile of uh, boxes and or disused coffins, a enforcer drone stands up. Oh, so this is okay. a uh, a bipedal guy that's silhouette two, so it's about the size of a horse standing. Um, it's got a, a heavy machine gun mount slung on one side and a micro missile launcher slung on the other side. Um, you know, little bipedal walkie looking boy. And it just kind of like zip, zip, looks around. Um uh I mean, yeah, it's three thread. We'll go with uh oh and go ahead and start with three strain as uh this thing's like laser dot sight on its micro missiles like passes just above your head while you're still standing out in the parking lot. It doesn't I, see you, but it's still very worrying. I, I just image the thing of like the uh, like those uh those third person Stealth horror games where it's like the guy holding, clutching their gun under a desk as the thing's like over them. Oh yeah. boy, there's my initiative. Ooh, wow. Okay. Well, I we will... finally get to see somebody at the bottom. I will roll. Um. So yeah, uh, that thing is not aware of you, so you don't roll uh your like vigilance to be surprised. But uh, you guys do are aware of no. it and know that there is a big scary drone in the building. Yeah. One moment. My I initiative. My did, I did that. I was ready. I was ready. Okay, so I only got two advantages on that guy. Let me roll for minions. I'll spend I'll spend an extra strength because I'm probably drinking calf on my turn. Uh, Just don't feel the stress. Just don't feel it. 
Oh no, stress. <laughs> the thing's looking at me. <laughs> uh, also, I, I will say this, Omega. Everyone add two uh, assists. I gave Jabberwocky a paint job for this mission. What the? Okay. Uh, is halfways diagonally red, halfways diagonally black. Okay. Hey, uh, everyone add two success to their. <laughs> I already rolled, so. Yeah. 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 So... I'll if if it matters, Aaron I'll take Aaron it into account with the math. Aaron counts as two. But also, shout out for the two triumph though. Yeah, damn. Like damn. I mean, hey, if you want to take a maneuver. Um. Actually, yes. Can I go into cover? Yes, you can dive into cover. Hold on. I'm trying to re remember how to do minions. <laughs> I need to roll for a lot of guys. Uh, yeah, okay. So they're, they do have vigilance. They are security-type drones. So I'm going to go wet. Uh, is it just... Uh... Yeah, I don't think it gets any bigger than that. It's like figured out. Yeah, I think this is the right pool. Yeah, I rolled a few successes. It's one of everything. Okay. Uh, and then yonder Orser man, you are actually uh, really good at that because he's gonna roll. <sighs> Whoa. Shocking, I know the the uh, you know ED two hundred nine uh, police drone looking guy is good at uh, reacting to things. I'm, by the way, slightly fucking flummoxed that uh, Odin and Wolf managed to both pass their <laughs> uh, stealth checks versus this guy. I, hey, I'm surprised as much as you are. I mean, the checks right there. I'm not, I mean, not, surprised, that that I'm not surprised that Wolf managed it, but uh... yeah, I was about to yeah. say I'm surprised Odin did. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I got, I got him with the stress anyway, because it was it's a little freaky, but yeah, okay. So the pool will look something like. Let me see where is. Because yeah, Odin uh, or Wolf has my fucking mechanics pool for his stealth. Yeah, Jack is me too. Was, me too green. Yeah, I'm glad Omega said the ED209 because I couldn't actually remember what it was because that's exactly what I was thinking about. I just couldn't remember the yeah, fucking. Yeah, no, no, it's it's supposed to be that guy. Um, also, those fucking bipedal security drones from CP2077 that show up a couple of times, like yeah. the boss at the end of the hotel mission. Oh, yeah. Just big, stompy, you know, not... Uh, it's only still two, so it's not quite like a gecko from Metal Gear Solid 4, but, like, that kind of thing. You know, stompy bipedal boys. Uh, okay. Yes, I think this is correct. There's, there's four of you? Yeah, there's four of you. Oh, yeah, so actually some of these guys rolled in the middle of the pack. But you do still have some some slight drop, so who wants to be going first? I mean, I'm just going to start shooting up the place, so if you guys want to do something tactical before the fucking... before the, uh, the Enforcer droid starts moving, now would be the time to speak up. Honestly, I'm fun going last because I don't think I've been short of most of you guys. You know, fair enough. Nope. So, uh, with that being the case, I will go. Shorter Jack. I will go. All right. Uh... Wait, actually, hold on. Before you go, Lucky, I, I do have to ask a question. What's up? Uh, do do are we still transmitting visuals via TACnet? Yes. Yeah, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are on mission. So usually, I think what we say is, is um, we usually say tech netted up, but we we limit the degree of um, of uh, information sharing. So on mission, then on I, mission, we have like visual audio feeds for each other. Basically, then turn I on would cameras. probably like to go sooner than how much do do we get before the security drone? Well, you don't know, but you got we, we don't know thoughts for an NPC people side. Yeah, it says right okay. There. I would like to go just because I need to get over to them. Oh, well, you do, well, I have a question. Are you thinking of sending? Uh... No, uh, Jack will, is going to drive over to them. I would caution against that because then you will become your van will become a target, and this thing has a heavy machine gun and micro missiles. 
No, that's fair. Um, it's a lot of things, actually. It has a lot of things. Like I, honestly, what I would suggest is uh, taking a Jabberwock over there. That would probably be. I mean, vehicles have extra movement, but that would probably be shorter. If you uh, want, if you wanted to get there like immediately to do something. Well, no. The reason I wanted to get to them is because my uh, my uh, uh, van has breach weaponry. I thought you got rid of that. Whereas, I mean, an oh, right, I did get rid of it. Never mind. Yeah, I'm wrong. Uh, an enforcer's not that like tough. Tough. Yeah, enforcer doesn't have armor. And something like five. Seconds. Oh, I was thinking of the other one. I was thinking of the other one. And, never mind. Is that killer? Yeah. No, Hunter Killer yeah. also doesn't. Have yeah, my thought was insane. Okay. Like jet, like yeah, jet, like um, Jabberwock will probably be pretty good. I can I can handle these guys for a little bit at least. Uh, no, I'll, I'll keep you backed up, but you go first, Lucky. All right, then. Uh... Well, as they, as they say in games, gank the mage. So, uh, I'm going to draw a bead on... Uh... I forgot his name already. Marcus Carlson. The um, MK over there. Uh, what's what, what range are we at? Uh, It's a pretty big room, so it's probably medium. Oh, I have a good zinger now. Oh, okay. But I will uh, spend uh, two strain to uh, dublame. Dublame. Uh, all right, I'll say this because you're technically you're actually no, you'd have to aim and then make the check. So now yeah, you double aim. Uh, spoilers for the future. He's going to loyal followers and uh, redirect the attack. Yeah. He can do that once per round. I figured. All right. Protect me, my minions. But, uh, but even so, my start was is to still thought is to shoot the dude. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I mean, that's why he has the ability to be like. -uh. Power collapse. This is. So it's when he uh, he is targeted, he redirects. So it, it goes straight to them. Uh, the servitor drones have no adversary, but are defense one. Yep. Oh, wait, actually, I should have checked. Does he have any adversary? I just rolled a straight-up fucking regular-ass check. I'm an idiot. Well, yeah, I mean, you don't... Uh, that's fine other than the, the, you're missing the setback die from their defense. Like I said, it's... Before you even roll, he redirects it. Oh, so. before I roll. Okay, I can just Yeah, add it says when targeted. Okay, so... so re when you declare you're making a combat check on him, he will redirect it to his drones, which just have one defense, no adversary. He does have adversary one. Okay. All right, so that will be... Uh, 12 damage, peer, a breach 2. Alright, well, that eats all three of their soak. And I'm doing these as four groups of three, so that group is gone. Oh! So, uh, you, you rip a seeker around, you know, through the, the fucking room, and, uh, Carlson is like, Protect me, my minions! My accent changes every time I have a line! <laughs> it's um, like a musical. So a group of like, like. <laughs> actually, no. There'd be one guy left because I, I said, oh, what, like, like, uh, groups of four, and I said, there's what twelve. Uh, should we do four groups of three? Let's do four groups of three. Yeah. So one of them is gone. Um, so three, three of these skeletal guys just stand up in the middle of your shot, but it's a high explosive armor piercing, so they just vanish. And this is why I brought the big gun. Um, I will heal two strain with uh, the advantage, and I will give whoever's going next a blue. The sounds of oh, combats okay. have commenced. I would like to go. Yep. Uh, all right. I will speak through. Uh, I will speak through Jabberwock. Jabberwock. And say, "Hey, MK Ultra, left. Your drones suck." And then attack. MK Ultra left. Wow. The point is not... He's not in the the form, but the function. <laughs> Claymore just motors. I think their function is pretty shitty, too. You know, looking at the three... I mean, I guess we that's not... He's the means of production of our thoughts. There'll be no inequality when we are all equal under machine. 
We're all I'm gonna working from the him. grave, I guess. All right. Uh, all right. Yeah, you can overclock. What uh, what is he performing though, Jabberwock? Uh, he's doing a brawl check. I'm doing a double hit, so I'm adding a difficulty. Oh, yeah, oh well, it. okay. You got they got to do some other stuff before that, Chief. Who who are you brawling? Where are they going? Oh, I'm attacking a group of the minions. Okay, they're still at the far end of the room, so you got to clear a medium distance. Okay. Is, I mean, is that a... To get from medium to engage, you're going to have to spend two maneuvers to do so. So if you do so, you will not be able to do an action unless you take two strain to do so. You do have to say, I'm going to okay. spend a strain to do so. Yes. I'm going to spend a strain to do so. Okay. Alrighty. All right, you can now get engaged. Uh, mm, yeah, no, I guess that still works. You're still piloting. It's just funny. Um, so uh, you discover that the servitor drones have uh, an ability called unsettling appearance. Enemies engaged with the servitor drones add one threat to all checks. That's a T. Fair. Yes. And they have one defense, right? Yes, one defense. They spin the little skeletons. Uh, you do know that they only have uh. Three soak and four wounds, though. The heavy seeker rifle is overkill, I'm realizing, but I can't go back now. All right. Damn. Uh, do I have to advantage to activate my second hit? Yes. If they're yes. Kids, there'll be a there'll be a point where it's not overkill. Okay, so it's just a single hit then. Yeah. What's your? But game? it is the claws do rip. Uh, Enter. That would be twelve damage. Pierce three. Uh, okay. Oh, there's two, sorry. Oh. Uh, no, okay, without without that means there's still one left, but yeah. Uh, basically, you know, Razor Claws extended, just fucking, you go claw, claw, bite, um, and because it's a skeleton, the bite doesn't kill the last guy, but absolutely just crunches through the perfectly cosmetic rib cage at the front. Fucking piercing nice. resistance! Yeah. <laughs> Classy. Hey, I did actually use uh, Genesis's uh, stat line for skeletons to start these guys. Ah, that's great. They they have so obviously they have different nice. equipment and stuff, but no, they're they're based off the box standard skeletons stat block. That's funny. Also, I mean, you say that the, the heavy rifle is is overkill. It would still be pretty pretty good for some other things in this encounter. I wanted to make sure you guys were packing. Um, okay. Uh, that was Jabberwock. Uh. Jack, you still technically have an action left, I believe. Um, Unless you wanted to turn your action into maneuver so that your guy can go, but yeah, you know what I mean. Hope we can avoid the time where Odin needs to get something crazy when his iconic gun it doesn't fucking do anything anymore. Um nah, I'm kinda good. I don't have anything else I can right, do. Okay. Uh one more PC slot. Alright. Wolf. Go. Oh no. Uh I am going to do something. You can do this while I'm doing this. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to spend an action to try and um, watch my call it. No. Not overclock the other one. Uh, motherfucker! Why can't I remember the name of the talent? Need flashcards. Hold on. Why is all energy? You, you, you guys can do it. I, my sheet is being weird. Okay. Overcharge. Oh, yes. That is an action, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, then... Do your overcharge... Type... It's mechanics. Check. Is that a normal? I think it's a normal core talent. Uh, it's a tier five, uh, four talent. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think it's in the normal core. All right. Yeah, overcharge so hard mechanics. I... Alright, yeah. I drop his um, cunning by one, and I boost his brawn by one. Uh... Oh, that's not overcharged. That's a different talent. I'm pretty sure that's... Let me double check. Hold on. 
Overcharge is once per encounter, you make a check to uh, one of your cybernetic implants that grants one of the following plus one to characteristic, plus one to a skill, plus one to rank talent. Uh, oh. It is instead a plus two. Okay, well, I need to redo my talents then. Never mind. Uh, there is, I believe, a different one that you may be thinking of that lets you uh, adjust drones that way, but that's not uh, overcharge. What did I call that one? I'll, I'll figure it out. You you guys can go. It's not important to this combat. All right. So how far away is the Nemesis drone? Uh, I mean, you got you snuck in and got all the way to the back, so probably like short from you. Like you're not engaged um, with it, but it's real close. All right. Would I? be able to move and engage it and count it and count it effectively as not knowing I'm there until after I attack? Yeah. All right. I get to use silent elimination then. Oh, I want to see this. <laughs> so I move forward and I will do a, a two-handed strike Okay. with my monofilament. Yeah, my, with my monofilament. Mm -hmm. Played. To the to drone drone has defense, I believe. Uh, of course, your drone does have one like. range defense. I think I don't know if it has melee defense. Yeah, it only has, it has zero slash one. So okay, yes, it's only one of the ranged. Okay. Uh, it is still adversary two. Yeah. Yep, we find it. Yep. My room's dark! I need to turn on the light! I have that. It's always the darkness for you. Advantage. Okay, uh, would it be okay to have re re retroactively yeah, yeah, you, that's have the that done? That's the talent you were looking for. Yeah, you rolled. It's fine. Yeah, I have to redo my tier 5 talent, though, now. Because it was improved overcharge, but if that's not what that does, then no. yeah, I don't need that. It's a different one. Oh well. Well, I guess it's a good thing I did that then. So that's four. So that would be 12 pierce 2. Yep. And with silent elimination, I do a crit without even, uh, without having to spend the advantages on the first part one. So it'll be crit plus 40. Yep. Because I have vicious 4. Yes, the vicious of lies. All right. Do I should I roll that or you? Um, I can roll it, or you can roll it if you want. It's uh, just exclamation point crit space plus forty. Plus forty. Okay, so it has it still has three soak. It was twelve, you said. Yes. So it takes nine. That's pretty good. It's almost half. Gruesome injury. So for a good one. All right. Poly 100. Not 81 to 90. That'd be hilarious. You have made me ugly. It's because you said it. I think it God damn it. <laughs> You are oh, no, its presence is reduced from two to one. Oh, it had a presence of two? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have cool as a skill, but hypothetically, it might be rolling cool, you know? <laughs> I know, but still, there's one of those, those, <laughs> those things. It's like, I have a great personality. So, yeah, just My out from face, behind it, you you know, wolf appears out of the shadows and just delivers a, a two-handed thrust deep into this thing's body. Serious damage, you know, shearing away, uh, you know, plating and electronics. 
Error. Error. Close combat detected. Use extra caution. You I must should probably have a built-in brawl po profile, but I don't. I just have four guns. Like gunnery guns? And no, it's got all kinds of different. Uh, elements. two of them are gunnery yeah, guns. Yeah, and lots of guns. It's got it's got all kinds of stuff. Technically, it's split between range, two range light, two gunnery, but it uh, it has brawl three. I I probably should have a specific brawl profile for like kicking, but it can just do it. It's got brawl five, so it can just do it. Enforcement droid uses bad. body slam. <laughs> Would you like to purchase Winrar? Uh, anyway, you still gotta do have one advantage on that. Um, I will give uh Odin. Well, technically the next person, but Odin's the only one left a blue die. Yeah. All right. Sorry, there's just something so amusing about <laughs> watching the stop motion of of. Yeah, there is. There's just something <laughs> impressive about it. Like you can you can tell it's not quite right. It's not you know in camera effect, but also it's still really good. Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's also definitely the cut from them just you know pushing, pushing it down the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just rolling it down the stairs. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. So yeah. So you get whoever goes next, but that would be Odin. All right. Uh, yeah. And uh, do you want to take any additional maneuvers? Uh, no. I had to maneuver up to it and then attack. Yeah. So. So I just give you one to take additional ones. Okay. No. All right. Oh so, yeah. No. Uh, then a couple of NPC slots. Uh, first. Uh, I will have the en enforcement drone go. Uh, it is going to spend its maneuver to disengage. All right. Uh, it is then going to attempt to shoot you with its flechette gun. Okay. Oh, oh no. Can you reflect that? <laughs> I activate dodge two. Okay. All right, it's upgraded twice. And I also have three defense. Yeah. So your ranged light. You really have become a. You really have become a cyber samurai. <laughs> I will be short range, so it would normally be one purple. So it's rup pup, three sups. Uh, is this accurate at all? No. Okay. But it does get two buzz for a combat computer. Uh-oh. Damn. Wow. Really? Those red dice tried. They tried. Wait. No, the red dice did good. The uh, purple dice was slight. Uh... Yeah. No, it's just all the all the yellow dice did good as well. Yeah, it, yeah they, it, it wasn't so much the bad dice did bad. That's it was what the, that's good dice did very uh, good. Shocking, I know. This is how yellow dice are normally supposed to work. <laughs> They're normally supposed to be good, actually. They usually it's don't. Be a big deal. They usually blank. I don't believe I you. Know. <laughs> um, that was just the flechette gun, though. So that will just be uh, a total of seven pierce two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so how does your reflect work? Uh, I don't know if he has deflect. I do, but I already used their reaction. No, no, you I can are... still, uh, uh, you can do another. Oh, yeah. Because uh, dodge is just an turn incidental. You can parry if you want, if you want to take one. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah. Actually, you already picked two strain to dodge, so it would, it's, yeah. you got to pick your moment. Um, uh, I do have a triumph, so I will spend that two crit. Okay. Uh, it is vicious too, so this will be a plus 20 crit. Pillow fight. Your opponent is slightly inconvenienced. Oh. Never mind. It's because I No, it's more than slightly inconvenient. <laughs> Wanna reflect that now? Uh, no, you can't now. It's no, I can't do that, but the crit, one the crit is also the crit wouldn't that wouldn't necessarily change the crit. That's to reduce the damage. Yeah, yeah. where is Um, okay. I'm going to use my veteran ability. All right. I'm going to spend a story point and make that it result a zero one. A. Yep. Just be like, nah. So nah, this thing the worst during the war. lines up. It's got, you know, a little, a little like arm extension. That's one up into a, a, you know, a, a flechette coil gun. Uh, and it's about to light you up probably like right in the spine or the leg, but you're just like. Nah, I got this. Uh, so you it can probably it. still hurt, but you, it is you, you... still technically a result of what twenty-one. Uh, ah, uh, 
is actually is that how a veteran works? Hold on, let me check the phrasing on that. It makes, open it, the the, makes the dive result a zero one. Yeah, yeah it so it'd be twenty one. So yeah, it'd be twenty one result. Let me check the chart. Cylindry. Twenty one off balance. Add one black to the tart to my next uh, skill check. Makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're, you're thrown off balance a little, but you you tank it pretty good. Uh, and that's gonna be. I feel like you dodged too hard. That you like dodge into a wall. No, I literally just like took it all with my the cyber arm that I'm not using to swing my sword. Yeah. Because remember, he has. It is Lachette. Yeah. Also, remember that that Wolf has uh, the the extra servo limb extension, so he's got double fisting on one fist. True. Technically, I have double fisting on both fists. I have two cyber arms. I know. I'm just saying. It's, servo it's, arms. It's, yeah. It's, 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 it's funny because you can you can do the thing that's intended with that, which is you get to, to two hand weapons uh, while still having yeah. uh, more hands. <laughs> We're having fun here. We're, we're chilling. Uh, okay. Uh, so next PC slot, uh, NPC slot. Sorry. I, mean, we'll I remember be, uh, when I uh, asked about four handed weapons. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are here for Carlson. He is ready to rock. Uh, okay. So let's see. Let me mark it down though. Do we want to have? Do we want to have him do that or that? No, we're gonna have him do his specials. So as his maneuver one, he will activate coordinated assault three. Uh, what you think means he gets to do up to three allies? Is that a tier one talent? No, it's tier two, probably. Yes. Oh, okay. It's the range increases with this. It's the based on his leadership. Okay, so it is only one then. All right. Uh, it'll be one of his minion groups. He's like, get them. Uh, and we could field commander to follow this up, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, so he's going to activate his special ability. Thank you for giving me a story point. Uh, he's going to spend a story point and activate his uh, once per round IED ability. Uh, Claymore, uh -oh. I choose you. Make me a hard vigilance check. Oh, no. Or you will be exploded. I think he's going to be exploded, because I don't think Claymore has Vigilance. I don't have I don't Vigilance, but I do... Oh, no, I got one Vigilance. Excuse me. Okay, but I do one. have All four right. Willpower. It's true. And you do get a free success from Tech Knight still. Yeah. It's all Vigilance. You said free success? It's one free success. Okay. You got Tech Knight. Yes. All right, it's, it's, right. Just, okay. it's just asterisk on all Vigilance checks. I yeah, I would keep covers like cover right now, but damn. Solid. All right, you're good. All right, you do not suffer uh, uh, suffer wounds, which would technically bypass so because it's suffer wounds. Don't worry, it was like four plus one per failure. <laughs> um, you didn't get any threat or anything, so you'll be staggered. So yeah, um, he just says, and you are already in my web? Uh, and a uh, uh, trash can next to you, Claymore just explodes. <sighs> uh, but you duck behind a pillar that takes most of it. Curse you, large mechanical man. <laughs> now my accent is in a completely different place. <laughs> a crazy French accent. All right, so that was his action. Uh, he will suffer two strain to take an extra maneuver and get in cover. Yay. Uh, all right, uh, last PC slot, Odin. Um, I'm in cover. And Odin move, I guess, in... I guess I'm in the building, so I'm already in... I guess I'm already in, in the back, because I was near, kind of near Wolf, because You're we both probably succeeded. more in the doorway. I imagine. Yeah. yeah, you didn't fully go inside, because you said you, you did hang back. Yeah. Uh, how far away am I from, like, everything right now? So you are a little bit back, so you get medium range from the drone and Wolf. Um, which would also be basically the same range you'd have to be to, to get ready to walk into the next area. Uh, which means you're 
like strictly speaking, technically you're probably like long range from the action going on in like the front area, because you're you know you're on the side of the building. And then that mind, uh, can I spend a maneuver to uh, move in one range band still in cover? I uh, know. Okay. Just shoot it from where you're at. There. Um. I was thinking about also just doing a field commander, but I don't know if anyone wants all. Everyone wants to maneuver just, right now. Just, just shoot it. Okay. You do get a blue die. An extra blue die, I should say. I'll just aim then. Solid. It's... Uh, average. But uh, what is the uh? Uh, it's adversary two. Okay, so it'd be two reds. Yeah, it has one, has one Okay, one back. Yeah, two reds, one one black. Nice. Also, yes, the the last line of taking cover is uh, or they move out of cover. So if you move away from your cover, you are not in cover. Uh, but you Those got same. it. What's your base damage? That'll be eleven plus one. Okay, so it still does get four soak, but that means you still do. Almost said five. That's not correct. <sighs> uh, Eleven minus four would be seven. seven. So that's I will uh, sixteen out of twenty. I will deal. I guess a credit plus ten. Yep. Oh! Ooh, <laughs> wow! Spicy. I think I hit. It. I, I think I hit the whole wolf carved open in it. <laughs> No, actually, I think I think it's turned fully to like face uh, wolf. You actually fire like right in the back and hit something important on its uh, its back case. Bang! Bounces off the radiator or the CPU panel. Error! Like error! Error! Danger! Ooh. Well, Robinson. fatal error has occurred. Would you like to send an error report? So yes. Well, that's it's it. Staggered until the end of his next turn, which means he can't take actions. All right. Uh, suffer one strain for your threat. Fair. I'm like, okay, that okay, that landed. If it didn't, I'd be fucked. If it it turned around me, I'm fucked. But you've you've done well. It cannot engage its scary guns anymore. Currently, for this turn. Next person going. Uh, oh, stop it around. I believe. I forgot to add the blue wolf gave me whatever. I definitely, wait, actually, wait, that means I wouldn't have done aim to just, I'll just spend it and move to eat, drink a calf. No, drink your calf. Good. He's good. All right. Okay. Um, that is indeed top of the round. It is now a PC slot. I will go. Okay. Uh, how many mini groups are left? Oh, actually, wait, no. Is there, no, no, there's an NPC slot. It's not top of the round yet. Um, oh, is there? Uh, oh, my, yeah, bad. The the my bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah. No, that's fair. It's just we could have got it. Okay. So let's see. Jabberwock's engaged with one of them that's just got one, and there are two left. One of those two has a V on all checks because of Field Commander. Uh, let's resolve the two groups of three that are free. Uh, they are going to uh, draw their rifles and shoot Claymore. Here we go. Uh, Claymore, how much melee, uh, not melee, uh, range defense do you have? Zero. Okay. Well, this is why the NXRA is important. Yes. Okay, so we're at short range. What does that actually do? It's a uh, non-explosive reactive armor. Basically, once per round, I can activate it to give myself three range defense. Ah. They do have ranged heavy. I got two agility, so it just be like. Okay, I can't find a talent in Genesis, and it's driving me insane. Which one are you looking for? Void Baron, because I don't know what it does. Oh. That's in the. Uh... That's in Twilight Imperium, I'm pretty sure. It is. Okay. Thank you. One pa, no sa. Is your accurate one, right? Yes. All right, we will fire the normal first. Hmm. All right, well, uh, I don't think that's going to do it. That's only nine damage. Nope. All right. Ping! Rifle round bounces off you. Actually, let me make sure I right, recalculate. Right, they will give a blue the next. 
guy though because it has so. three just like that yeah no so my soak is 10 right now yeah yeah no they're using regular rifles so that's that's a total of nine damage uh the second group will be the one with the advantage and they get an extra boost from that first group so let's see uh no that's not gonna be a hit we did get some stuff though oh god now i have to consult the fucking chart and pray that s s interesting things happen if you even if you miss i doubt okay okay no no we can do some stuff here um let's see you didn't really do anything that's game damage okay oh no i don't have to do uh yeah uh they will spend their three to force you to drop your ranged weapon oh okay and they will spend the triumph to uh Yeah, upgrade the difficulty of your next check as well, Claymore. They're going to suppress you. Oh, okay. Suppressing fire. Actually, no. These these guys should talk more down there. They'd be like, Suppressing fire. Suppressing fire. I'll get you next time. Gadget. Suppressing the dissident. I will get you, Gadget. Dallas is Dr. Dr. Claus a lot better than mine. Oh, no, that's good. I don't the, know why the funny I used thing to is that, that, that when I was a kid. if you can do the if you can do the Doctor Claw voice, you all basically sound like Doctor Claw. <laughs> but some people just don't got it in him. All right, okay. I uh, probably now don't. It's not. Voice. It's not very pleasant on the vocal cords. No, no, you should not do it for a long period of time. Uh, this group is going to attempt to, uh, and by group I mean one man, uh, is going to attempt to clobber Jabberwock with a machete. Uh, okay. How much melee defense does Jabberwock have? D. All right. Uh, this will go poorly for them because they're not. Thankfully, you didn't attack him with range because he also has no range defense. Yeah, no, that about, that's about where it is. Uh, this guy draws the machete, and I think Jabberwock <laughs> just like like just boxer scrunches down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and yeah, that would do damage. Uh, so it just. Jabberwock just backhands this guy out of the way and he folds over. Oh, that did it? Yeah, I only had one. Was one. <laughs> we'll get out of there. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll wrap this up. We don't need to have this take forever. We're already at two and a half hours. Well, 220, but you know what I mean. Okay, now it's top of the round. Sorry about that. I will go. All right. Claymore, we're calmly you must pick... go. Excuse me? Nothing. No, no. Ignore me. So uh, Claymore will calmly pick up his rifle and then dust it off, uh, re-shoulder it, and uh, he's going to shoot at the guys who are suppressing him. Okay. All right. This, uh, they're at... Actually, no, you didn't move any closer, right? They're still a medium? Yeah, no, I, I didn't move. Uh, do I want to move up closer? You know what? I will move up closer. I'll spend two strain to advance. So it's just one red. And I have no accurates and all that there. stuff. So, oh, V for superior. Yes, don't forget that. And you already got the S for their one defense in there. So I think we're we're good. Um. Did I write how much it is to crit on this damn gun? It's probably three. It is three. Okay. So I will uh, do 11 damage, breach, breach two. All right, that takes out two of them. I will spend three advantage to crit. Okay. Eliminates the last one. And, and I have a triumph. And I have a triumph. Oh. Uh... Your second projectile accelerates and rips into these guys. They're turned into slag. Slag. With a little bit of burnt bone. Bone meal. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll upgrade my next check. All right. Just methodically moving up, firing. 
Okay, that is, I believe, all of Claymore's action opportunities. Next PC slot. I would like to go. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go punch him in the face. Alright, which him? Um, Sir Commissar Marcus. Okay, you can do that. He has a shirt from you. So you Does he have melee defense? Uh, he has two melee defense. Okay. Um, I have a question on how a dice would work for a check. Because yes. I'm not sure if it would be four yellows or, f or two green, three yellow. Uh, five brawl, three brawn. That would or, be other uh, way around. Well, either way, it'll be uh, it'll be two yellow, three green. I think. Wait, no. What was it again? It, it would be th it'd be three. So it'd be three yellow, two green. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The, the yellows from the overlap. I just didn't know if it would go to four yellows or that. No. no. So. Yeah. It's the two extra points. Uh, he's adversary one. Also, don't forget. Uh, I will overclock as well. Okay. Uh, uh, he can technically allow followers to redirect this, but I think I'm going to save that this round. Okay. Um, so that would be one red and then two setback. Slightly squeaky yawn. Wow, again, very, uh. All right. What is okay, so that would be total, then. eight pierce two. Okay. Uh, wounds, I assume? Uh huh. Okay. Eight pierce two, so it takes off three, so that's five. Right. Jabberwock does not have any non-lethal settings. Yep. So claws him up. He yelps something Danish sounding. The claws that catch. Work. Okay. Uh, NP. Oh no, one last PC slot before the NPC slots. We're at the third slot. Uh, Wolf will go. Okay. I have one black. Uh, let's see. I will kick draw my other sword and uh, two weapon strike it. All right. It's still adversary two. Yep. So it should be Rapa. Because he is two weapon fighting. That's uh, supposed to be rah rah. I have the I have the talent that I don't take the additional uh, ah. difficulty for two. I'm going to spend maneuver to do that, but I think you've got the maneuvers. Yeah. Just be like oh, my next two weapon no. attack doesn't increase the difficulty. Ha ha. Ah, I actually didn't realize that was a maneuver. Never mind. It's good to know. Uh, yeah. What is it? Dual wielder? Yeah, it's a maneuver. Okay. But I'm pretty sure you have quick draw, so. Yeah, I have quick draw. So. Yeah, it's just ra ra no defense. Ra ra no D. Oh no. All right, so I'll use my triumph to hit with both. Yep. Uh, which sword were you using first in this check? Uh, my monofilm was still my primary one. Okay. So how much will that be? So that will be twelve. Uh, Pierce two. Okay, so he takes off three. It's around even nine. Oh, well, then... hey, guess what? You don't need to worry about that second hit because uh, he was at 16 out of 20, and you do nine. So oh, okay. that'll be 25 out of 20. Uh, this thing is smoked. Nice. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question, Omega. Yes. Is it repairable? Uh, Probably not, no. Damn it. As Wolf is... Considering uh, my second attack was with a Thermic Blade. Yeah. Which would be, what, another, like, 14 damage? 
Yeah. Now, I imagine that Wolf, forever. just while well, this thing is stunned, you just carve it like a turkey and just start hacking off parts. And yeah. initiate ripper mode. Right off limbs. <laughs> yeah. Weapons. Plus, this is the only drone in this entire place I would even consider taking. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's covered. It's bristling with weapons and did did manage to get Wolf pretty good. If he didn't have that veteran ability, that would have been a very gnarly hit. Yeah, it would be bad. So, uh, yeah, you you just take this thing apart methodically, leaving it a, a pile of smoking scrap in this back garage. Uh, and then I'll uh, message into to the others. Uh, yeah, target eliminated. Do you need help in there? La la. Uh, probably. You hear him yelling some gibberish, but you are a front of the revolution. You don't even know what that word means. I do. I am a literal revolutionary. All right, Wolf's done. Okay. Uh, well, NPCs. Uh, the Enforcer drone is not here anymore. Goodbye. He is gone. This is good. Goodbye, well, the staggering Wolf. was also good, but uh, it's good that he's gone because now he can't, uh, you know, uh, fire a heavy machine gun at Odin. Or something. I still think Wolf would be the, just the bigger threat, <laughs> to be fair. I mean, it is, but like I said, it's the... the. Though I think you did about as much... Uh, yeah, similar similar damage. I did seven. Uh, yeah, but still, like, you, you know, I think that's... Wolf did, what, like, nine the first hit? Yeah, so, I think like... I did. Close. Yeah, I did nine, so... No, it's it's it, it would have been a threat assessment thing, but yes. Uh, but you took it apart pretty good. Um... So it's Carlson's turn. Uh, I mean, I could spend another story point to IED Claymore, but that would not help right now. Um, yeah, no. I think you we're really mean to... an IED Jack. I mean, no, you. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Uh, you're not in range. Not within... <laughs> I I don't actually know if you've parked your van within long range is the problem. There is a range limit to this. Uh... It would be very funny to try and activate that against Jack, but I don't think it makes sense. I don't Considering even know if he walk... knows where you are. Considering I was walking to position, I don't think... I would he's... definitely be within long... Well, maybe not of him. I'd probably be within long range of the door, though. Yeah, no, like I said, I don't I don't want to... I don't want to figure that out. It's It It would be very funny, but no, that's not in the, the spirit of the range limit. The idea is that, like, while you're in his weird fucked up lab place his workshop you might just stumble into something that explodes and she's not in the building uh but okay uh no nah, i think we're just gonna go the simple route um he's just going to uh for free because it's an implant weapon deploy his implant blade Shing! uh a you know uh, about a meter of of you know ceramic steel pops out of his wrist uh and he is going to attempt to blade uh you know, your boy, uh, uh, Jabberwock. That's fair. You can try. Be gone, foul pestilence! Uh, how much, uh, melee defense do you have again? I forgot that. <laughs> it is the two, okay. Yeah, no, it's defensive one, which is accounted for already. Uh, we will aim beforehand. And then I can decide if I need a double move. Uh, this guy is a nemesis, by the way, so he has a strain pool. Oh, yeah. I thought That's so. what we got in here. Two advantage. Now my dice are rolling the way they normally do. Well, hey, guess what? I can immediately perform a free maneuver, so he's going to use his free maneuver to disengage. He just, you know, Jabberwock, like, blocks the, the strike, and he just uses his momentum to push back. This does mean he is out of cover, but he's no longer engaged, which is good for him, hypothetically. Because if he lives long enough, he has a seeker pistol he could bring to bear. Back foul demon of capitalism? For he clearly only pistol? capitalism could produce this mechanical monstrosity? You! You are clearly over budget, sir! He points at this. At Excuse you! Can you I not mean... read the colors? Cap. Okay, I'm gonna kill him. Wait, you're not. I thought you were an anarcho-capitalist. No, I'm an anarcho-communist. Also, I'm sense. more of an anarchist than any. Also, anarcho-capitalists don't exist. They're crazy. Fair. 
This clearly goes against techno socialist values. I will build a rigid machine. Fucking MLs. Fucking Shall cyber necromancy, isn't it? The only thing he's going to be building up is my fucking credit limit. <laughs> oh, so did you no, say he has a capitalist secret devil! If I hadn't used my arbitrary mechanical limitation to attack this foul robot, I would shoot at thee! <laughs> now, and now he's becoming renaissance. I minored in theatrics in Denmark. The finest was... acting schools. Yeah. It was very lonely. Clearly, he he dropped he he fed, he flunked out of acting school, which is what the start of his fucking supervillain story. There, I guess. Hey, by the way, I would like to say that um, this character is not meant as a dig at anybody who thinks themselves as being techno socialist, and or possibly Arctic Circle communist. Um, there's a reason why this guy is alone in an abandoned funeral home. It's because he's kind of a weirdo. He is a niche just, freak among niche freaks. Just kind of a weirdo. <laughs> Well, you know, if you're just a regular weirdo, you're you guys, freelancer. I was about to say, I don't want to be calling the kettle black here. Yeah. I, I just think it's severity is a bit boring. He's, no, he's, no. He's, he's, he's on a, an extra level of weirdo. Yeah, he, he is a weirdo. As a weirdo, I can say that. He's a yeah, fucking... Like, I'm going to be real. Well, remember, Jack has stripped out uh, cyber has cyberware from dead bodies and stuff, so... That's true. I have not... Though, you have not, you have not, will, you have not glued will... rib cages to people, but... <laughs> Like I said, you're not that far. She, Jack has not gone to the bone zone. She yeah. has scavenged <laughs> everywhere from, from corpses. From yeah, but she's gone. She's but... she's been in the chrome I mean, zone. <laughs> I mean, Jack has done that gesture to Jabberwock. Yeah, that's just artistic. That's just artistic choice. A very mm. very weird artistic choice, but it's artistic choice nonetheless. <laughs> okay. Uh, buh, 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 buh. it's the bone drones. The bone drones. The servitor drones. Um. Yeah, no. Skellybands. Uh, there's only Ooh, one. Group scared, left. Let's see. Yeah, no. I think they just have to like hope I can roll more than one success and attempt to uh, to shoot Claymore. Uh, they were just doing what he does. It's the best of what he does, and it is being the biggest problem of the fucking room. <laughs> I like being a problem. Aim. You're sure we got other stuff. It's like, that's not an elephant. That's that's not that's an elephant in the room. That's a claymore in the room and fucking run away. That's nice. Okay. All right. I think I actually did one single wound to you. That will be. Yeah, these are rifles. That will be exactly eleven. Yeah, no, that'd be it. Forget cl what a claymore <laughs> equals an armor. He can bleed. Uh, I will. Can he? Say that advantage goes to giving a boost die to whoever goes next. In the vain assumption, there will be another turn. Because <laughs> you guys are just about to all go. I'm and just going to say, all that for a drop of blood. I mean, I probably won't go because I'm still going last. I'm probably going last still. Well, I mean, you, I, you're going right now, though, is the, is the thing. We're oh, the right, yes. Turn, so it gets, yeah, you get to go now. Oh, okay. Uh, question then. Assessment of head count. Uh, there's one group of three minions. minions left. They are completely fresh, and then there is Hims, who is. Uh, oh right, Claymore the other. I mean, he did get disengaged, well, I, so I, I guess I it's open to be. Are here. these rooms connected? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because it is a funeral. Okay. Yeah, no, you would go through the back, into the the front area. This is the hearse dock. So. Can um, I quick draw to swap? Ha <laughs> yes. I, no, having uh. Ha having you know <laughs> attended funerals before, yes. And 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 uh, uh, carried the coffin. Yeah. No, they uh, they there's a there's a service area where you guys are at the like the big auditorium space where you would gather, and then literally the room behind that is there's a little garage where the hearse pulls up. Maybe the last funeral home I for, I'll, funeral home I'll, funeral home I went to was too bougie then. I will move a range band. Are you? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. What okay. are you saying then? Next. I like to move a range band, and then I want to quick draw into my air rifle I had in my bag. All right, yeah. I'm going to shoot at the guy because he got dis he's disengaged. I mean, still, so you still don't have line of sight on him. They're not. Oh, okay. I was about to say Fair. the rooms are connected, but there's still probably doors and walls. No. No, no, Fair. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, neither Wolf nor Odin has taken any any uh, maneuvers to open any doors. Yeah, that's doors. <laughs> that's what I was going to okay. say, but I wanted to wait. Yeah, no. 
I mean, you can still Fair. draw your rifle and get ready. But yeah, you would you would have to take a couple of, of maneuvers to get in there because you have to actually, you know, bust in the back. Okay, then I will uh, bust through the wall. I'll take a maneuver and I guess I'll open the door. All right. Yeah. So you 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 know run up and you open up the door. You are now seeing this from behind. Oh, enemies of the socialism! I am sur literally surrounded by enemies. I think I... If I could take your friend to take cover from here. Uh, I think you've used all your maneuvers. All right, right. Uh, yeah, wouldn't you actually have to move up to the door? I did. Yeah, I, 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 did. I, I took that as he was... No matter what, he was already moving up. Oh, yeah, yeah, and you, you quick draw. That's right. Quick draw his rifle. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I could take two straight and I can take my action. Yeah, you, if you want to if you want to take a shot now that you've used two two maneuvers, you can. But I'm already here. Fuck it. Right. Okay. He is right adversary man. one and has uh, one it, range defense. It's medium, right? Yeah. Uh, No, you're coming in the back door. It'll be short. All right, then. Toby should have read it and then sit back. I am basically playing spin the wheel of accents. All because I've committed to, I'm not doing it. I'm not specifically trying to do a Danish accent. Okay, you've hit. Uh, that's nine pierce four. All right. So that's only one. So that is eight. Uh, On damage. You have trank. Yeah, I know. Oh, yes. I also do have a trank. Okay. So that would be the uh, hard. Yep. All right. I'm going to heal a string from that. Sure. I will call it a day. Yeah, no, he has other strain reductions. Duh, oh, jeez, okay. Uh, well, he doesn't take the, the extra strain damage from that, but... Can I... Can I... Can no, I don't think you can spend the strain even on the... Six... Well, actually, you might. I... Say you can? I totally force him to make the check. Well, no. I mean, you can right. you could you can you can work on the strain results. I'm just like if, mm. the the threat results. I just don't know if it's actually supposed to flow into strain like that. But it might. It might just say you do one strain per threat anyway. I just get blacks. But yeah. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What am I looking for? Medical. There you are. Medical trank. That starts with a T. Trank's done uh, hard. Uh. Oh, no, okay, yeah, so, no, it's not directly with, uh, it's strain, it's five strain plus one per change. Uh, you could spend two to immobilize him. Sure. So you can't go into cover, just stuck there? Yeah. Sure, let's do that. Oh, no, I, I would have gotten with the the my tax filters. It's making the like, accents even more impenetrable. <laughs> I knew I should have downloaded the different language drivers pack. <laughs> I, I now just like the idea of the guy has a throat implant that is just an auto translator and it, it's just out of date. <laughs> yeah, he's just got the wrong drivers, y'all. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, that it is. Uh, Top of the round, three PC slots. I would like to go. Yeah, I bet. I'm gonna. I'm going to shoot the doctor. Okay. Uh, he will activate loyal followers to redirect to those last couple of guys because otherwise things are going to go poorly. Okay, so why didn't he do that last last round? Uh, he was only targeted by the melee attack, and I was just like, nah, he'll write it out. But then he got shot by Odin. That's true. He did. Uh, I probably should have done that, but yeah, it's, it it was funny. But uh, I will. Uh, that's uh, it was just uh, just. Uh, I was just, literally saving it, but also I, mean, well, I, I guess it well, wasn't was three hours on just this this fight. Yeah, I know. But like I was saying, it was like the last thing of the round, and it's like a per round. It is right? once per round. Yeah, yes. no, it's, I know. I literally said I was saving it, but it's too late to go back now. It's accepted game state. That's my bad. 
I, uh, oh, no, he's still doing damage. Um, am I am I short or medium from the fucking drones, the the droids? Uh, short. You moved up. That's right. That's right. So, but you are not engaged with them, so you don't add a threat to all checks. I upgraded myself. I don't, I don't need the fucking. I don't need the fucking aim. No, I do not. That'll be thirteen. Uh, breach two. That is another main group toast. I will spend um Sorry, I'm thinking. No, 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 it's fine. It'll be fine. I will spend uh, that to advantage to um heal strain. All right? And that's it for me. Okay. Well, who wants to go next? Dallas? Yeah. You want yeah. to go? Uh, yeah, sure. It's just the guy left? Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm going to engage and punch him. All right. I'm not going to overclock because I don't want to break. Uh, he does got the two. Shabberwock. Melee defense. That's fine. Um. Of something role playing wise, I was going to bring up earlier. That's funny. Hey, Omega, can I request you add a talent into the uh, system? I mean, you can request, yes. Okay. Uh, Master Demolitionist? No. Okay. <laughs> I even t Don't die for that. Probably make things, booms. make things go boom. You're already really good at making things go boom. You just don't know it because you never leave your van. Uh, okay, uh, we'll activate a crit on that, assuming it does damage. Well, what's the damage? Uh, it probably should. What's your total? Uh, it is only seven pierce two. Yeah, he only has five soak, so it's still like four wounds. Okay, I will activate a crit uh, plus ten. Uh, yeah, I don't think this guy's been crit yet, so it's just the any vicious you have. Yeah, he had, it has vicious burn. Yeah, so roll your viscous. Don't forget your spaces. Slightly dazed. All right, he's disoriented. As you claw him in the face. Yeah. Oh, my cyber eye. Now his now his translation driver broke. I mean, I could just run my dialogue through Google Translate into Danish. Bjarga dinga darga dargan. I mean no insult to Denmark. That's Danish, right? Yes. Okay, just... I know they get weird about that. And I'm also very bad with that part of Europe. No, yeah, those are the Danes. Okay, alright. Uh, that was your... Well, that was, you know, his activity. So, uh, technically, you, the pilot, also have a regular action, but you can, you know, continue to just be chilling. I will vibe. All right. Another PC slot. The AC on, has water, has their favorite tunes on. Moisturized oh, in her lane. blasting music. <laughs> That's Danish for uh, my cyber eye. Hmm. <laughs> Oh yes, it might. Was it was it a, a a Danish police that was the source of having a serious problem? That might have been Danish. Fun fact: English it, is actually at its root a Germanic language. Yeah, <laughs> it was uh, Danish and or Swedish and or Finnish and or one of those. Oh, do you want to go? I was leaving it to you, but all right then. I actually don't think I can necessarily reach him and do an attack. Oh, the door's open. If you take two maneuvers, I think you can get him engaged. I would say, yeah, this is you probably double move. You don't want yeah, to, you can, do you it. can move up to him through the door. Someone do it! <laughs> All right. I'll go up and do it, and I'll hit attack him with my therm thermic blade. Okay. All right, he oh. does have two melee and one adversary. 
And also, luckily, implant blades are reinforced for this reason. Oh, just just took the shot and maybe hit jabber walk. Don't, don't know how much effect it would have on him, TBH. I mean, I guess you still do a lot of pierce because it's all kinetic impact, but still. I mean, jabber walk is not that uh, thick. thick. If you want to know for sure, it's uh, the implant blade has defensive one, and he's got a coat on that gives him one defense. Oh no. This man is by All right. So that's 13 Pierce 3, and I crit him. Pierce 3? Weren't you leading with the Thermic Blade? Yeah, it's Thermic Blade. Thermic Blade's only Pierce 3. Okay. Well, that was a little more than that. All right. Okay. Nope. Uh, okay. So what was your damage total again? 13. 13. He still gets two soaks. So that becomes 11. Uh, so that means he is at 20 out of 16. I would like you to roll me a crit. Okay. Uh, you can choose to spend your two advantage to enhance this, but he's taking the crit for exceeding his wound threshold automatically. Yeah, I will. All right. Uh, it's also already plus one uh, or plus ten because uh, Jabberwock just crit him. So that'd be plus. Well, he isn't completely dead. Thirty then. Uh, yeah. Is there any vicious on the thermic? Nope. Okay. Then yes. Hey, listen. We just need a head. Yeah, it's only an agonizing wound. He's not necessarily uh, dead outright. He's he's loaded up with cyberware, but uh, he is donezo. As you just plunge the thermic blade into his chest cavity somewhere. I would like to loot. Stick it in a few and then swipe it out. Uh, I die for socialism. You die for nothing. No, he dies for my paycheck. That's true. He dies for all of our paychecks. Our, yeah, our paychecks. Yeah. No, you don't have capitalize. Uh, yeah, I'll go spend the. Um, that. again, presuming that you don't want to just immediately do the thing that this guy's in trouble for and steal his implant blades. Um, no, he's got I, I heard he seeker pistol. pistol. Uh, yeah, he has a seeker pistol. Would like to take that. <laughs> I think it. I'm the only ranged light user in the party. Oh, I got ranged light. So do I. Like I said, I have a I have a cro I have a croquet which I adore. Yeah, I don't think anybody else needs uh, necessarily needs this seeker pistol. Yeah, nope. I'm um, use race light for my kunai. He's got a coat which is just one defense, one soak. It's you know kind of like concealed armor basically, um, but it's a coat. Uh, he does have a commissar cap which would have given him an advantage on coercion and leadership checks if I had him make any of those. He actually had field commander. I could have I could have tried to give the guy some extra. Uh, maneuvers and juice, but the the way you split the party means that it, I didn't really need to fuck with my action economy too much. Uh, that's it. Uh, there were 12 drones with 12 rifles, though. Get the rifles. I'm not touching the drones. I guess I can sell say those. drones. Those are abominations. Actually, if, would you mind giving me the drone? The, not the drones, the uh, rifles. Fair enough. I, I, go, I know you the, I know the handful gonna move. sell them. No, I'm gonna give them to Onigashima. Most of my blads, okay, are, yeah, most of my most of my lads are rocking pistols. I need to start getting them some long arms. No, no. Uh, if if you're gonna use them and not just sell them, then sure. Yeah, yeah. Fine with me. Uh, the drones. I think we should probably like. I guess we'll leave our people to clean up. It's like I I don't feel great. Are this all these bones around? Uh, is this funeral home decommissioned? Oh yeah, no. You're in. You're in a like. What I call the rookeries. You're in like. Yeah, uh, I'm going to cremate this like... place. No offense. Well, I'm I mean... an atheist, but this is an affront to God and humanity. I mean, I don't mind if you destroy the drones and like whatever he was using to make them, but there's no reason to set a whole neighborhood on fire. Uh, no, no, I mean, I'm going to do a controlled pretty... burn on this building. Also, I, I did mention this place is pretty abandoned. Like it's, it's. Yeah, fair enough. I will make sure it doesn't spread. But uh, you probably actually right. enough mechanics that it would probably count. Uh, also, hey, is everybody rolling to recover any strain after the conflict? Uh, do that. Yeah, hang on. I will do that. Rolly, Rolly. That's a disappointment. Well, I had no 
strain anyway. I have one wound, but I don't have hard boiled yet. Okay, recover from the dodge. Oh wait, a secret. Okay, I thought a secret pistol was something different. Never mind, I don't need it. What did you think a secret pistol was? A uh, pistol that shot secret rockets. <laughs> it is. It shoots gyro jet rounds. I mean, it's got guided three. Oh well, I mean, it's not. Never mind. It's uh, it, I, it's not what I thought it was. I'm thinking Dallas thought it shot like tiny missiles. Yes. I mean, technically, that is what it does, but they don't explode because they are yeah, tiny. That's, that's the part that's important. <laughs> now you have to a rifle well, or um, the micro missile launcher to get them to explode with blast. You and your obsession. I am considering so... what will probably be the last iconic weapon because that'll make twenty, I think, which sounds like a nice round number. We're at like nineteen right now. It's probably going to be some kind of grenade pistol, explosive pistol thing. I just haven't figured out exactly what I'm doing yet. I will probably want that one. <laughs> well, wanting does not mean getting with iconic weapons, unfortunately. Uh, That's true, but you can make the checks. You can look for them. No okay. harm in doing that, usually. All right, and then it's rolled it out. Um, yeah, I, this reminded me of the thing, because I was going to think about wounds, because, you know, some of you do actually have some injuries, but... Uh, Last time, you know, uh, Jack took some wounds even through her powered armor. So I'm just, I was going to mention, because it might actually be relevant for some role playing, that technically, Jack, like right now, you're probably still covered in bruises because they weren't, those those rounds weren't like full penetration, but did, you know, slap into your armor pretty hard. I don't know how many wounds you have left over after all that, because I think you had a chance to retreat back to your uh, Android. But uh, I'm, I'm fully is. healed, but I'm probably still in a little bit of pain. Yeah. Gotta wear some cold compresses, but yes. Uh, so you guys can go get paid. Go get paid. I already spent the one. Oh, okay. That story point was was for that. Yes. Right. No, that's fair. Right. Uh, let me go. Just get the exact number. My middle mouse button starts scrolling. Yeah. So it's. Everyone gets actually three simply. Yeah, he's got it. As always, I trust X's quick bath. Why did I close that tab? I don't know why I closed that tab. I often ask myself these questions. Let me reopen this tab. Tool, no. Oh, yeah, the map checks out. As, yeah, times 50% divided by 4. Everyone gets that amount. And I'll strike that bounty off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to why it is risky as I hoped it would be, but you know, we scratched a few people. We made you think some stuff. Question. Well, something. I think uh, I think it's possible because you know the enforcer droid didn't get to like kick in the the back room door and get the jump on us after we engaged the guy. Yeah, no, I was holding that guy for the spicy, but uh, you, like I said, uh, shockingly, Odin managed to pass that that check, which means that again, he was not. Not that I hold anything personal against Odin, it's just that he would be the, probably the funniest character to fire a heavy machine gun at in a parking lot. Ow. True. I think other, he's like... than, other than, like, just having it fire into micro-missile pod at Jack's van. It's also, also extremely funny. I also yeah. like to believe Odin's also, like, I think one of the in the group that would openly just, if they, like, see the guy point at, they would just start booking it immediately. <laughs> Rather than be gunned down by a machine gun? Yeah, no, that makes sense. Odin would be like, uh, I gotta get out of here. It's like, oh, uh, this is not my engagement. Yeah, I, I don't do these kind of engagements. <laughs> Fuck this. I gotta back it up. It's like... Tactical withdrawal. Figure something else out. Okay. So you guys are paid. You know, you drop drop off the the, the body mans at your local police constabulary. Mm -hmm. They pay you a lot of money because he was very scary and people were very concerned. They had a right to be concerned. <laughs> I mean, probably. Jack, can your uh, nurse bot uh, fix my crit? Yep. Night. All right. Just hold you one. Yeah. Please stand Please. by for medical assistance. Why did you give it that voice, Jack? <laughs> I keep trying to change it, and it won't. The new model. It shouldn't be that. It should be actually a nice one. 
Uh, let me see. Apparently, I don't have a high enough self-preservation or something. Uh, I don't need a. You don't need a doctor to know that. Crit is a fixed. All right, okay. Oh, fixed. Thank you. You also heal too. Uh... Or, sorry, uh, not you don't heal any because it's uh, wounds are not being healed. Uh, you do heal four strain though, if that matters. That does not anymore. I already recovered that. Okay. Like before, but thank you. Still anyway. good to know. Yep. Okay. All right. Um. Anything uh, else preparatory? Uh, I, got, I mean, I got stuff I want to get done on, on fucking over the rustlers, but I feel that's going to be role-playing with talking to the gang and calling Granite Cody and making checks to do research. Well, I, I mean, start... that's fair, because like, we're at like three hours already. I would rather do that than, than set up a preamble to what will probably be another boss fight. Actually, who am I? Who am I blowing smoke up my own ass? It's definitely another boss fight. Ha! Ah, but so little did you know, I am the boss. It's 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 a fight between two nemesis class enemies. This is factually correct. <laughs> Would you say you are the final boss? Oh, uh, look! Claymore's been calling himself the final boss. That's how he introduced himself to Ace. Yeah, that was quite a while ago. Mm-hmm. Document way it doesn't matter that I scrolled up in the core book. But yes, like I'm, it's been three hours, but I'm already a little yawny. I have certain other people yawning, so I'm I'm good to keep going for a little bit longer, but we gotta know what we're doing. What's, All right. what's sorts of tackles do you want to tackle? Well, I will um message the uh message the group is like Hey guys, remember when I asked you to come with the jobs and we, you know, fought a fought a uh, a broke a uh, condemned um, arcology tower. We got a bunch of loot, fought a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel about doing that again? Someone in mind? I mean, I don't need another arcology tower. No, but actually, Jack, I think do think this will be something you're interested in because you're still looking around for parts and stuff, right? Oh, I see what you're saying. See, hit up when, some vehicle. Yeah, when is Jack right? not looking around for parts? Because no, but he means specific part, vehicle parts. Because, like, I'm running into a problem with Onigashima. You see, we need to exp we need to expand our distribution in Onigashima, and there's either two ways I can do this. I can start making friends with all the gangs around Little Rajamon, and I don't want to do that. A, I might take over that area sometime, and I don't want to feel like I'm stabbing anyone in the back. And two, the more I expand in the media area, the more that's going to piss off um, the Kuma guy family. Like, okay. I, I really don't need the Yamabushi Kai, you know, checking in on me right now. So that means I need to get better vehicles. Now, I am an, enterpr and I am an enterprising sort of demon here, and I need to get a lot of vehicles, but I don't want to necessarily pay any money for them. So the best way to fucking <laughs> best way to do that is to take them from someone else, usually someone who probably shouldn't have them or deserve to have them. Uh, I don't... Jack, do you does Metatron ever tell you about us working on the canyons? Uh, yeah, he mentioned it a couple times. Yeah, there's a gang out there, the Rustlers. Basically, they basically run lots of like smuggling, hijacking, you know, hitting that shit, kind of shit up. We've ran into them a few times before, and one thing I do know they got is vehicles. I don't know exactly what kind of vehicles, but vehicles nonetheless. I need those vehicles. Not all of them. Like I said, I can't, like, I can't, I don't need, like, an entire game, but I need enough that I can, like, start, I can start doing, uh, Long distance dis distribution, so I'm not stepping on anyone's toes locally. Like as, I said, the look, as long as I get enough parts for my uh, pet project, then I'm in. All right, cool. Well, that's one in. But I need those parts. Well, like honestly, like I'm probably gonna like focus on grabbing like you know maybe some some oots or uh, vans. 
So anything other than that, like you are more than happy to take apart. And I'm gonna be surprised if they got some uh, some uh, project cards up in there. I don't know. But Odin, you fucking hate the rustlers, don't you? Fuck the rustlers. Fuck the rustlers, you say. Well, we can just you know get rid of the rustlers because this is what I'm thinking we're gonna do. We are going. Like, we'll make some calls, we'll do some asking around, we'll find out where their base is at, we'll find out their leadership, and we'll just make them go away. Make it all, make them all go away, preferably in body bags, and just take all that new abandoned vehicles and whatever else they haven't left them for ourselves. Like I said, um, cars, cars flip pretty easily, you might be able to get a few profit for some of them. I gotta guide that. But... Don't you have a guy for everything? I mean, that's not yet. He was working on it, though. <laughs> that's my job. But the shut up, you. The the thing is, is, is we are gonna fight, be fighting an entire Canyon gang. It's like it's been over a year since I ran into them last, so I don't know what they've been up to in that time. They could have got bigger. They could have got smaller. They could have, I don't know, completely fucked off. I mean, I know the, what you said. They're probably eating paint somewhere. Probably. I know the sheriffs of that area, and I know people in the wirehead. So at least I have people at least to get us information about them. Yeah, I know. I got I got contacts out there too. Fair enough. Oh, is that where you made? Is that where you guys went to a prostitute house? No. I mean, I am. I was pretty tied with the fucking with the sapphires. No, no. Uh, my brother said you met one of his friends at a prostitute bar. I don't know what he means by that. I mean, the gates of Babylon does cater to that, but that's more of a for drugs and parties, not really prostitution. It's more like a club. Oh, okay. Technically, a nightclub. Yeah. yeah. Technically. You know, yeah, drugs and parties. Meta sounds weird about that kind of stuff. Pick up. Uh, I, I believe you did pick up a a a. a, a Medical stasis pod with a chicken, it fell. Yeah, yeah, we did. Bartered, bartered a, uh... I would, I would. Uh, well, I don't know if Metatron told his his younger sister that story, but the story I would have talked about the Cades was that time uh, Metatron got kidnapped by the Bloody Leaf because he accidentally punched a power main with his cyber. <laughs> Definitely did not tell her that story. <laughs> But... Claymore had to run back into that building and bail his ass out. So he might he <laughs> might mention that story. Yeah, that was in yeah that was in the canyons, but um, yeah. So I want to roll over the rustles, hustle the rustlers, roll them over, make them vanish. I get cars for distribution. Jack gets gets parts for her project. Odin gets to close a book on a close a book on a. Something I don't know what to call it. rage, hate, just tired of their shit. A personal chat. story. Personal story. And Wolf, well, we'll make Wolf get sure gets paid somehow. You in for that? Hey. Probably. I just want. I feel like I'm always being devil advocate with this sort of stuff, but I would like to point out that you would be restructuring like the makeup of the underworld are you sure you want to do that oh yeah no easily enough basically right. basically basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna contact granny uh, granny coyote and get her to get her to move her people into the gap that they're gonna fill i got an idea all right that's fine i just want to make sure i, can, I know how out. we can get paid for this whole thing loot all the rustlers yeah loot not more than just that because i know who would want the wrestlers gone the most and I'm probably the one who's going to have to meet with them because, no offense, they hate you guys. I mean, Rio Grande usually hates them. Th Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. And Rio Grande doesn't... No offense, uh, Rio Grande is not your guys' biggest fans. You're going to try and cut a deal with Rio Grande, then? Basically. Get the wrestlers out of their hair? That that is that is a viable pitch. You could try and contact somebody at, at, at RGC and basically be like, Hello, I have a business proposition. Would you like to pay me to get rid of these guys you don't like? Well, the question is, what are you gonna try and get out of them? Cash, gear, what? Just cash. Hmm. That or it's like industrial vehicles, but I don't uh, I don't need I don't need industrial vehicles. 
No, I'm going to get the only vehicle parts I need from this job. So as long as they don't request, like, we give them, like, I don't know, uh, scavengers, right? In which case, no deal. But you know what I mean. I mean, if you want to push that angle, that but that's going to be on you. Like I said, I can't show it to that meeting. No, I understand. Well, I mean, legally, that, I mean, I could show it that meeting as Gozuki, but then again, that's going to. That's still going to be weird. Legally, I could, but I feel like they might use it in case to build a case against me. I'd rather not. Nah, um, honestly, I do think you, even regardless, I think you should go, Odin. I think you just need to disguise yourself. Like, Jack, uh, oh. Jack's good at talking shit, but shit is what she talks. Yeah. I'm good at telling people what to do, and I'm good at annoying people. I'm not really the best negotiator. So we'll put you in the we'll put you in the skies, fake you some credentials, and send her along the way. Send you send you with her. I, I, if, if Odin is concerned about about disguising himself, you know, uh, worst comes to worst, I'm pretty sure Wolf owns a disguise kit. Yes, could do it. Could could assist you with your disguise. Mm -hmm. Listen, face blocker. Hey, hey, everyone loves a good face blocker. I never leave home without it. Neither does Jack. And I say, I mean, I'm fine with it. I just have my usual hangups with doing anything for the corpse. I mean, I don't look at it as it doing anything for the corpse because it's something we're doing anyway, and I'm just taking the money. It's also so make it so they don't intervene. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I would agree with Jack on this. We're, we're going to do this anyway. If we can, we're, we're literally pulling a con on a core, core pier. Yeah. Th this is... It's a hustle, actually. Hustle, con. Uh, I do there is no... I, look, I, is a, uh, I, I understand your position. There is no corp I would do a job like this for willingly. Don't you look at me like that. I mean, um, you said willingly, so like, no judgment there. Uh, but I I can't help but see an opportunity to make some money. Which is fine. Yeah, this definitely seems like a, like a valid. I'm just saying approach. what my normal. Oh yeah, no, I get hang it. up would be about doing this. But if we are just trying to get as much as we can out of them and have minimal contact with them, that's fine. Yeah, no, no, I would. And if they try and pull something, I'll just be like. All right, we'll just take care of this on our own. It. We, I'll, say I'll go you. make. I'll go make a. Uh, I'll go make a new account. I'll go make a new bank account ahead of time, just so they can drop the money there. We'll have no ties to us directly. Who likes to be prepared? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, this is a bold play. Uh, hey, shocking. I know. I don't have that fucking. Uh, that. Well, I appreciate uh, the off the cuff sign. That's a good idea. Uh. I don't have that pre-prepped, so I know that... Uh, we can do that next week, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I just know that uh, Claymore, that's the word I'm looking for. Claymore mm -hmm. was uh, going to talk to Granny Coyote about some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So, alright, but, um, so I got everyone everyone's agreement. We rolled one and make uh, mm -hmm. fat uh, fat stacks and chain the canyons forever? Yeah. Yep. Alrighty. Well, I'm... Bad RK! <laughs> Sorry. Um, Claymore is going to. Uh, wait, do I have Granite County's digits? Yeah, no, I he got them. Yeah, no, you you worked with her before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you definitely do. Times. And also, uh, that is one of the few cons uh, contacts I transferred from Metatron to uh, Jack. So if you need that. No, no, no I was just trying to remember. No, um, I did give. Well. I specifically gave her because I was curious if there if we could find any more of the Johnson sisters. We literally did also drop someone off with Granny and Coyote. Yeah, yeah, but that was part of that was part of the job. You've spoken to her recently. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the jo the Johnson sister. Uh, I can't remember which one it was because there were three of them, but there is one Metatron still has contact with. I regularly. have contact with Nova Johnson, who is a. Is that the one who lives in Metatron's apartment building? No. No. Nova Johnson okay, is um, is one of Claymore's not girlfriends. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, those? you can call it Granny Coyote. Uh, so, yes, he will uh, put in a call. And he... Well, we don't have to roleplay this. It's been like fucking three hours. 
But no, he's basically going to ask what the going rate is on information on the rustler's um, leadership. Leadership and locations. And then talk about... Um, and then talk about uh, get a try and get a discount out of it because talking about how there will be soon uh, the Russells will be no more and it'll be prime opportunity for someone to move in and take over their route dealings and you know not have to worry about their fucking headache anymore. So, you know, Granny Coyote kind of kind of rubs her chin and says, "Well, you know, about as full of piss and vinegar as always, aren't you, son?" It's all like uh, it's more of it's uh, it's more like uh, oil and fuel nowadays, but you know. Well, now your, your granny knows quite a few people. Knows some things. Could get you some of that intel. Normally, for a a, a group as uh, as as ornery and uh, independent as the wrestlers, I would normally charge a pretty penny. It's kind of information that uh, if it got out that that information was passed through the wrong hands, those uh, only sons of bitches might retaliate. But, you know, just imagining, you know, the little little hologram square like in the cyberpunk phone calls. Just like, well, I have a big boy like you, though. Normally, I'd say it's even a, a you know, one one whole gang like that's too much of a bite even for a freelancer to chew. But you got a pretty big mouth. <laughs> I think you can chew quite a lot. Yeah, Granny could hook you up. Uh, in fact, I'd even do it for free. But Granny would have a little something she would need to ask you about later. I got a job cooking. Hmm. And uh, we could probably use specialists like you. Now, admit, Excellent. I'm going to ask you to take a little bit of a field trip. I'm going out of town. I don't know what your yes. roaming rates are like, but how well, far out of town? I love town. jobs. Mm, only about a day's drive. Mm. Got a got a situation up in the up in the nearby resters. Not right now. Like I said, Granny's still getting her ducks in a row. You know how much Granny likes that. Mm -hmm. I like all my hens in the right place. Speaking of hands, once the once <laughs> once I get once I get these uh these koi dogs out of the out of the out of the fields, you be able to will you be able to cover that? You got some people who might be able to fill in that gap. It's like I don't need I don't need the sapphires, the wireheads, or what was it, the seven seven six? Yeah, the seven <laughs> six. Um. All of a sudden, going 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 crazy, going crazy over here. I'm sure they'll take their slice, but yeah, I got some kin down that way who can uh, who can fill in the space. A couple of breaks, a couple of rumors. Hell, maybe we can invite a, a little convoy in, run a little carnival in some of their space. All right, but yeah, no, give me that information. Yeah, I can I can see about doing a job for you later. All right, Granny will keep your number. Uh, let's see. Uh, I feel like uh, Celestine Stone has forever regretted letting Jack meet Granny Coyote. Possibly, but you know, business is biz. Uh, yeah, Granny would be. Well. I know where they're where they hold up these days. Uh, they got their lip bloodied a lot back in the day, about a year ago. They're still trying to get all this stuff together. I don't know who's in charge off the top of my head. I'll have to get you back on that. But I do know that their main hideaway is uh, basically a fortress. They found an old junkyard. And uh, they have done the dumbest Mad Max shit Granny ever did see. They got hulks of cars stacked like three or four deep like walls. They got like cranes to move giant, you know, metal grates out of the way like gates. You know, the whole thing. Wow. It's dumb. It's showy. Uh, but it's going to be a real pain in the ass to get them out of there. I'm, like taking out a tick. Uh, you could probably do it, but you might want to do a little prep work. 
Uh, I do know that they only have a few big assets outside of that left, though. Uh, they're still running an old biker bar. It's called Chop and Shop. Uh, it's out in the Canyon Way. Uh, pretty normal stuff. But that's where they go to hang out, blow off some steam, spend some cash. They do some bootlegging and moonshine out of there. Uh, let me tell you, this shit is terrible. Do not drink there. They water down everything, including their own moonshine. That's what they didn't cut it with moonshine. jet fuel. Ugh. Nasty ass place. I don't even have any good ganja. Uh, they do have one garage left, like an actual auto parts store. And also, right on the fringe there, uh, like an old racetrack. It's all dirt and stuff. It's right on the edge of town, but uh, it's out there, and they still run races and do rabble rousing. And that'd be about the three places I think they got left that are any big. Uh, you know, Granny kind of pauses and is like, now, are you looking for a detailed profile, or is that uh, good enough for you to run yourself on down there? Uh, Claymore things about it. It's like, ah. Uh, if I was to hit those three places, would that spook them enough to all of them want to fucking ford up in their fortress? And then. Oh, yeah. No. They, they, that's that big spot they got left. Yeah, nah. That, uh, that'd make them. Uh, I've been dealing with the Russes for a lot of years now. Uh, I would guess that would probably make them pretty scared, but also pretty ornery, packing a tight pace like that. Yeah, no, that that's all I need. Just give me, give me the locations of all of all the. Just give me those, give me those three locations and where their fortress is. I think that'll be enough. All right, sending you the deets now. You just get you know four, four geoluck pops. You know the mm -hmm. GPS coordinates on your mm -hmm. Google Maps, Spoogle Maps, Spoogle. All right. Yeah, so there's there's uh, there's the biker barn there's the chop and shop. They got an old uh, auto parts garage, and they got a racetrack, and then their junkyard fortress. All right. Hey, so remember how I I talked about these up and down my list? Uh, literally like session two when you were thinking about punching the rustlers, I wrote these notes down. <laughs> well, I'm glad I was able to come back to it. Yeah, I'm about to say. So I'm I'm very glad we we cycled back. But yeah. They did it to the uh, train crowd, so I guess a, uh, name for the, the the guys. The whole thing is the train. I might as well uh, turn the favor. Yeah. No. So um, Claymore will uh, send out. Um, uh, Claymore will be like, "All right, thank you, Granny. I'll let you." Well, actually, I won't have to let you know shit. <laughs> when you hear coyotes howling, Granny's watching. But um, he'll um, he'll uh, end the call with her, and he'll send the um, the four locations through to Tagnant. It's like, all right, lads, we gotta do we gotta do a, we gotta do a bit of nest kicking here. Basically, if we want to make sure that we get all the rustlers and we basically shut them up for good, we have to basically hit their three sites here. <laughs> Weed brownies, probably. We gotta Does hit. Have a cool caravan with her. We have to hit these. Uh, we have to hit these three side bins of them and basically spook them enough that they want to basically fort up in their big ass junk fort fortress. Yes, I do know that this means they will be on guard with us and have a lot of fucking more guns and be ready to shoot them out of intent. But it also means we're gonna get the most get the most of them in one go. Oh, but they're strongest. But I mean, it also puts them on the most condensed. Yep. It was. Uh... Already planning on doing some ground recon. Do you want me to do that and start uh, uploading all the information on individual rustlers I get? Yeah, um, I passed on Granny giving me any side details, uh, giving me on details on leadership and whatnot, because I feel like that would been take a while. And I think this is probably something to better move uh, quicker rather than slower. We're gonna have to hit all. We're gonna have to hit these three uh, locations probably all in the same day. So, uh, until, so until we do, do you want me to uh, thin their numbers out if I catch them up by themselves? No, people start disappearing. They're gonna start getting out. They're just gonna start getting feeling weird. They might. All right. 
If you want to do, if you want to do uh, some scouting on them and start picking out, you know, VI, VIPs and whatnot, like some deets going, get some. I believe, I believe the idea is you want you actually want them to to fort up and not uh, go to ground because these guys are uh, are like a mobile scav gang. Mm -hmm. So hypothetically, they could just get go get all in their trucks and just get the fuck out of town. Yeah, and that's what I feel will happen if you if people just start randomly fucking um, vanishing. If we hit their if we hit their three um locations really quickly, I feel like their response will be to fort up and then try to leave instead of just fucking fuck it man, we gotta get out of here. So yeah, makes complete sense, just yeah. Wolf actually does not have a lot of uh, experience dealing with this sort of target, so Yeah. <laughs> Claymore does. Wolf, not Batman. <laughs> Wolf, assassin. True, but also, well, this, Wolf, this is, is Wolf has been plenty reason. Batman against corporate targets, just not so much uh, this sort of stuff. Listen, Claymore is a world is a world tra a world traveled uh, mercenary. Mercenary, he has been in many situations. Oddly enough, I feel like I might talk about this next week, but I was thinking of like we probably do the garage and the racetrack and the biker bar, or we hit all once at the same time. Well, probably not all at once at the same time because they will yeah, have got four of you. There's yeah. only four of me, so no, but it will be a rapid fire. We hit one, we knock it down, blow it up, whatever, kill a bunch of people, jump in the next vehicle, and immediately gun for the next one. Once we hit the third one, we wait like an hour as ever all the fucking um all the fucking guys run for the run for their fortune, be like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? And then we hit it and kill everyone. I guess that's probably important. We get Wolf to see how many non rustlers are in those locations. <laughs> This is. I you, mean, because if there aren't that many, we can't just total the places entirely. I mean, that that is a good point. I do not know the level of, like these are these are businesses, so they probably do have customers who are probably no longer just you know, trying to get cheap beer or do some gambling. Once the shooting starts, usually they will. I don't know exactly how they'll respond. Some might just you know cower. Some might fucking fight back. I don't know. So I actually probably seeing how busy how busy how how busy locations are at different points of day is probably something that's probably important if we want to limit civil civilian well, casualties. Yeah. Well, I figure that we probably won't have that difficulty at the fort because you know. Nah, not the fort. They're, they're, it's their fort. Nah. If you're at the fort, then you're in tight with them enough that you need to be eliminated. Probably. Yep. Yeah. Part of the gang. Part of the fort, part of the crew. Uh, part of the grave, now that that fort's about to come. Oh. I mean, I just, I will, I will just say, because I've been thinking about it, my funny, but I'm just, like, trying to imagine my, uh, uh, you know, what what the level is, is, like, uh, so this is the time the, the, the gang, uh, rents a bomber and just fucking blows them up. I mean, if I could call on a hell bomb on that location, I would. Can we get a Davy Crocker that doesn't shoot a nuke? No, we're not gonna fire a oh, fucking yeah, nuke. That's just a regular recoil uh, rifle. That doesn't really do anything. Okay. Okay. But we probably could get something flashy. Mm. I mean, I did actually quite a while ago write stats for for a, a specific bomber stat line. Hmm. Oh, really? Kind of it's quite expensive though. Do you like fifteen? You know, if you could you could scrounge up a rental. I know, maybe, like, like I mean, like, we don't actually, like, honestly, what we could do is, like, we could just, you know, see if we can get someone just to, we can call in Eagle One, maybe. Drop the 500 <laughs> kg. We don't actually have to, like, pilot it ourselves. That'd be great. Really work that out. You know some guys. Uh, but also, I will say this, we really need to get in that. and get all the shit that we want out of there yeah. first before we True. do that. Yeah. Yes. I don't want to burn everything and melt everything down. So yeah, maybe not. But it's still, it's, like I said, it's just a funny thought I had. Of we just, do like, want to loot all the. We do want to take all their belongings. Yes. So I do think we're not we, being. I do think we have a start of a plan, but with, it will require some reconnaissance. Probably mostly on Wolf's part. Uh, Claymore can stealth, but Claymore stealth doesn't stealth to gather information. Claymore stealth so he can kill somebody. Hello. Listen. There. Yes. Listen. I could be there, but I think most of the old boys and the rustlers fucking remember my face. Oh, that's true. You we might. Put on your face uh, we might consider some drone surveillance, but we will I see. Don't think he's got any spy cams? 
uh, blah, blah, blah. Jack. That's the name I'm thinking of. God, wow. I'm, yes. Normally, sometimes we go for like four, four or five hours, but I'm, I'm way. I'm so loopy at this. Point. I don't know what the fuck happened. Is it the that? pollen? It's the gas leak episode. It might be my allergies. I'm still dying a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, <laughs> Jack does still have like one or two of those spider drones, and I don't know if I've, I, yep. I think I've ballparked you on the price, even though I haven't said the exact number. But you, you have the facilities to make more as well. So yes, you, those guys can kind of skitter around. Yeah, I, I would be able to prepare that yeah. for the outing. But yeah, okay. So we got a solid plan, and like I said, you're gonna. I'll I'll keep my my notes in this as a as just a slash. Next, the rest uh, of the next time we meet, just give me the actual yeah. money details. Uh, but you'll technically this could be a job because you're going to uh, pitch it to RGC as a as a job. Yeah. So you yeah, so just get fully fully paid for this. Yeah. I just have to make up names for all of you guys. Well, just two of just two yeah, of them. For you two of them. Because Wolf and Clover don't need to be there. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta say I have no, a crew. Well, yeah, a mercenary crew. I just have to like. I mean, you don't really have to try that hard. You just, hello, I am an interested party. You can trust me. And I technically could just be your hired negotiator because technically people do that sometimes. That's true. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Uh, any other Rustler-related questions? I don't think so. Okay. Not until further notice. All right, we're good. And yes, I did. Uh, actually, one of the jobs I'm kicking around in my brain is something that would go out of town a little bit for Granny Coyote. So this just worked as a good. Are we like? Are we, ta are we talking? Are we talking like out of Pacifica, out of town? Or no, 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 not okay. that out of town. Okay, like deep in the canyons. She's, I guess she's, she's thinking something, something like upstate, basically. Okay, J Jack will immediately volunteer no matter what the job. Is. No, sorry, it's just I just have the thing in that head because uh, Claymore probably cannot, literally cannot leave Pacifica without you know getting permission from Suzaku. So. I I love eventually that I know it's I know it just it's not clear but I know eventually we're going to go to Japan or like yeah the, the British Isles whatever that is now or basically uh, the UK also Texas, and then maybe even remember I still yeah, have to rob a Zeppelin okay oh, yeah, but that was closer <laughs> it's like we're, we're the few places that are probably like gonna be going at some fucking point well again it's just one of those I, things I like do... I don't want to I don't want to undersell but that that fucking Claymore is an owned machine it just doesn't come up as much as one would think so yeah fair. No, I'm still waiting on the right time for them to call in their huge favor and be like, Claymore, you're going to have to kill a guy. I, yeah. I, ironically, we're still in our Pacific I mean, Wolf doesn't mention that he technically owes a favor to SSS, so. Yeah. Well, it's just uh, I, I think I paid off my huge favor. Uh, You still have a. No, it's a big favor with a your brother. Small favor, or no, medium favor. Uh, no, no. It's uh, big. To you my asked brother for specifically. Uh, you have no more with 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 your mother, but your brother Joseph, you still owe a big favor. Yeah, you should pay him back. Yes. <laughs> that is another one where I'm like, I definitely want to use this as like a hook to a job. I just haven't thought of the mm. the perfect ideal for him to call his little sister and be like, "Hey, sis, I got something." You know, you you've been moving yeah. a lot of money around. I got something. We Especially because he's of. the normal one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, listen, I have something that. I don't think it's a reasonable thing to do, but I think you would think it is. No, it would be something like, I need to, I need to take care of something, and I don't want mom to know. <laughs> Basically, that's, that's how all the siblings do favor for each other. All right, I need something done, and mom can't know. It's... Oh man, I'm just imagining it's like fucking. No, for like the SSS, like there's gonna be like some sort of diplomatic envoy from like one of the Shanghai Pack nations, and Suzaku's like, technically, we can't touch him. And it's like, we can't touch him. We can't send our block outs. We can't do anything like that. You, on the other hand, while are you you are you know Suzaku property are content considered rogue on the loose, and if they knew about our previous literal political assassination done. <laughs> That's so not like a like, high bar. No, no, no. Well, okay. I think they don't know. Yeah. Also, uh, Ax, that's a bit different, because if, if that was the job, no offense to Claymore, uh, Jack would probably sit that one out. Because yeah, no. the difference was, we told the feds about the uh, political association, they went, 
We're not yeah, sure. going to look into this. We'll, we'll, we'll avoid it. Just, just, here's a list of questions we want to answer. <laughs> no, but basically, no. government sanctioned political assassination. At that point. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you you just gave them an opportunity to cut out the middleman. They were like, sure, we don't give a fuck about this guy. Please. Yeah, no, but no, like this big favor is like Claimer's going to have to kill like some sort of diplomatic figure and cause a small fucking <laughs> international incident. That so that Suzaku can go, Stone. can go. So no, fucking not that bad. So no, yeah. I definitely like the idea of it being like like a, a a guy from like the Siberian Republic or from like one of the the Chinese factions or something. No, just because you know that last time was like I want this man dead. I want it, this man be... to die. I want him to die, and I want to make sure he's super dead. <laughs> who do so I, I know who can do that? Explode his brain. Clever coughs. I need you to. <laughs> You owe Zuzaku your literal life. I need you to flatten this building. <laughs> oh, That'd be oh, you can't, you can't see it, but I literally just cracked my knuckles. Just Yeah, I heard it a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did Something too. Carried over. It's okay, a... all right. Oh, God, that is a situation for you. We are, we're, we're starting to, to faff it around a little. We're having fun. We should probably wrap up the, the Sheshur. Sheshur. Yeah. Because uh, oh. I will, I will need a little prep time to cook. I'm, it's funny, I kind of imagined, because this was, was a Nemesis fight with a lot of ads, and it might take that long, but I wasn't necessarily planning for that much gap in this and the, the grand opening, so we'll figure out exactly what order to do it next time, but I'll be prepped for either. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. Let's go with, well, we don't have three hours, and you guys don't, I think we need crazy XP. Let's let's go for the 15. The 15, or... Okay. There was a decent amount of shopping and stuff here. Yeah. Great uh, question. Are we all yeah. gonna do the wrestlers next week, or we do grand opening and then get back to the wrestlers? Uh, Depends? I, I think we'll see. I Listen, might. I'll 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 be prepped for both. Don't worry. My intent. I I will say my intent. My intent is for us to have a few days of downtime while we do investigation, shopping, and you know, deal with life. At which point, you know, the grand opening can happen, and after the grand reopening, do the rustle job. I'm gonna be real. I want to make sure that there's nothing going wrong at home while I'm trapezing around the fucking badlands, you know, killing dudes. No, I gotcha. That's probably fair. Yeah, we can. We can. Then we can do. Grand opener first, and then work on wrestler stuff. Yeah. Like I said, I'll 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 make sure my my back pocket is. Oh yeah, just for, to for thank however you. much. So I did want to mention that um, if at any point you do need to take some extra time to work out stuff, Omega, I am working on the uh, return to Benenson Island. Yeah. So uh, if at any point you want to take more time to think, I can work more on that and get it ready. Uh, I have been a little behind schedule because I've been basically ills for about a week with all this allergy stuff as so a i might take up on that after the um you do the the grand opening as yeah. a side nice thing problem. i do want to say i've been running perfect draw on saturdays now so it's like i can also walk you guys through that if you only see what that's like uh, i may need to see this stuff i don't i appreciate your enthusiasm if you're already running something i don't want to like uh, no i bet like I, I would like to at least walk you through it and like if we wanted to figure you guys just make decks and but you can ideas. Uh, I don't remember if we linked the stuff. We can we can work on that later. But yeah, I wouldn't yeah. I wouldn't mind uh, taking a little bit of a to catch up on some of this stuff because I am like I said I'm a little behind. We've been plugging adversaries, but okay. I don't think we need to be recording anymore. We're good. Uh, yep. So uh, if you're listening to this or watching this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for your time, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.